still chaotic in here. Still a little, still feeling the aether gusting around, you know? Oh, yeah, I, the... I'm glad to see that aether gust is, uh, <laughs> not chaos. I, I, I did, I tried my best to ruin the last stream with my chaos, but I think it still went off, you know? Um, mm. <laughs> really a lot of usage of the Zax command in chat for some reason today. Yeah, it's it's just because Zax was Zaxing, you know? Yeah. Mm -mm. But anyways, so the RC is right on the horizon. Uh, I pretty much locked my list. Um, again, what I'm showing on screen is is not quite my list because my, my cyborg card has... There's a secret card I'm not showing. Additionally, before this stream, I made an unprincipled change because some of my team are keep talking about this artist talent card, which I admit I don't really believe in, but I threw one in for the fourth sleight of hand so I could give it a chance. So just yep. a classic is... last stream before the RC throw in an unhinged artist talent. Yep. This is the last stream before the RC. Uh, tomorrow I am flying to DC. Andrew's coming the next day because I have to play in some nice LCQs. Um, but uh, yeah, and, and it's it's been a full Phoenix week, but here we are. More Phoenix. The last time we played with talent, it was fine. <laughs> well, okay. I'll, I think so really good is hyperbolic. Also, to answer Mr. Capper's question, yeah, we'll have the 15 minutes of audio issues. We're just delaying it a few minutes before we get started on the audio issues. Oh, sure. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. It'll be like mid-round three or something. Yeah, we, we want to like change up when the audio issues happen to keep it fresh and you know, exciting. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course, of course, of course. But Though it being at the beginning sure did make it easier to cut out of the YouTube video. <laughs> yeah, that is true. Anyways, so yeah, here's the deal with oh, artist yeah. talent. Actually, the sideboard is all Raoul Planeswalkers. It's actually 15 Raoul Planeswalkers. <clears throat> including the like Planeswalker deck Raoul Planeswalker. Maybe that's the one you suggested. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god <laughs> yeah i love mr catfish i don't know why our twitch chat is like this but i do greatly enjoy it anyways i think i i know why our twitch chat is like this i think we made this happen to ourselves personally i blame society i think it's yeah. a societal issue i blame you <laughs> Mm, you blame me. Well, I mean, what, what have I ever done that could remotely encourage trolling in Twitch chat, Greg? I mean, it, it, it's, hard, it's hard to say that, that, that I've ever done anything that would meet that description. That would be ridiculous. Uh, yeah. Anyways, so um, what's going on here is, uh, yeah, so we're going to, I'm going to try the artist talent. I don't really believe in it, but I, the argument for the artist talent, which, which I will make now for the artist talent believers is that it's good against high noon because if you can't actually cast your cantrips getting all these free loots is nice is the idea yeah also against blue white control where you have a bunch of dead removal in your deck you can loot that all away for free that's the that's the like premise of the artist talent is it good i sort of doubt it but i think it does make a certain amount of sense so i want to give it a little bit of a chance before the rc yeah and and the concern, to be clear, is that when we played three profs, we thought that was too much. It was one too much, you know, card that kind of does nothing. Yeah. And we think that two profs, one artist talent is is closer to three profs, you know? It definitely it's slightly is different. It's not legendary, but it's still kind of, there are a lot of matchups where you don't want to be tapping two mana and doing literal nothing. Um, I mean... I would argue that Artist Talent is card advantage against Blue White because the red cards aren't cards. Mm -hmm. It's pretty pretty straightforward to explain. If you if your deck yeah. is seven dead cards and four cards you actually want to loot away, you're you're always gonna have a couple of them. But yeah. Anyways. Also, what is it? What is its what is its last mode? I know its second mode makes things cheaper. Oh, its last. Which is don't worry, it does irrelevant. nothing. Okay, nice. <laughs> but, Love to hear that. Yeah. So. Also, if you're like. Wow, Greg, what a nice shirt with a cool Systemagic logo. We have, they're for sale. <laughs> Many people have pre-ordered their shirts, but there are still some more shirts available for sale. We can either bring them to you to RCDC or to MagicCon Vegas, or we can ship them to you. Um, wow. <laughs> Whatever, Azax. <laughs> oh, that, that that's great, Sklar. You love to hear that. Um, yeah. <laughs> but, yeah, so... 
Anyways, um, <laughs> what else was I going to say? Also, you won play points for filling out a form. Very important legal distinction. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> um, yeah, so... <laughs> Thanks, N. Hammond. That's, that's what we all needed. Yeah, so anyways, uh, so yeah, this is going to be the last stream for DC. We're going to be trying out this artist's talent. We're going to be... The rest of the list probably we saw before. The Into the Flood mod is gone. I've tried this experiment. I'm off it. I'm a Brazen Bar believer. That's it. Yeah. Um, yes, the, the two Steel Seraphs that I am playing are in my sideboard still. Um, I think if yes. I reveal what cards they're replacing, it may, to some extent, leak what the cards are, so I'm not going to do that. But there are two cards in my sideboard that are these that I know what they are. That That's that's pretty okay. much it. But I've tried okay, to put Proto reasonable Pulse. replacements in. Proto Pulse Redeemed Greg says something mean, and I was hoping this would happen in our next three streams, because I got something ready. Uh-oh. Fire it off, Greg. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> so the other day I was like I should test this Phoenix deck you know so I go onto Arena because that's obviously where I do all my testing and I was like what do you know I have a Phoenix deck um, I have a Phoenix deck saved from like three months ago but I was like Andrew and the crew have been working for months they've been slaving away for days and days and days and days surely it's going to be like <laughs> Many cards different. You know, they worked so hard on this. It's not just going to be the same deck we played two months ago. That would mean all their hard work was pointless. And then it was like four cards different. Yeah, that's like, true. Right, gotta add a Brazen Barber to the main, gotta switch up like three sideboard cards. And I was like, wow. Glad I didn't do any testing of any other cards. <laughs> well, it's more like we tested lots of other cards, but they weren't very good. Yeah, that sounds like you wasted your time. Mm -mm. <laughs> yeah, wait, oh, wait. I did add the Shivan Reef, of course. Yeah, did you forget about the that. Shivan Reef? Very controversial but broken card. <laughs> we, were, we spent a lot of time arguing about Shivan Reef. Andrew's all like, wow, I've changed the deck so much, I added one ship and read. <laughs> <laughs> Greg, this is a savage Greg says something mean, if I'm being honest. <laughs> I wanted to say it's so bad on Monday, but I was like, I can't. What if someone redeems Greg says something mean? <laughs> <laughs> wow, so you just like kind of left it impending, would you say? Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. All right. Uh, yeah. So, uh... Yeah, um, I won't give any other precise notes about this versus last week because it's, it's pretty much the same. Mostly, I'll just say I missed this Aether Gust. I missed it a bunch, so now it's back. That's it. Wait, did you not want to play with Thing in the Ice? The no, it's one here. thing in the it's ice? Here. Oh. Okay. This is this this list's conception is that it, it has both of these cards, not one of them. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Um So Yeah. Yeah. Uh and yeah, the rest of it, I'm I'm still I'm still uh, I'm still planning to uh, to register as planned. I still I, I'm still leaning towards this over the second impulse, but I could go back to that. You know, it's really hard just to say. But I having looked at the mappings, that the mappings still tell me this. Also, wait, I just want to discuss part of my process that I did today because it's extremely funny. So today I did the classic. Um, I followed the footsteps of friend of the stream Julian Wellman of Michigan uh -huh. Chess Fame. And I created an arbitrary goodness unit spreadsheet to pick my last cyborg card. Nice. <laughs> so what this process means, for those unfamiliar, it's really nice. You take each card that you're considering for your sideboard and you rate its value over replacement in each matchup where you're going to board that card in. And then you weight those values by the predicted popularity of that matchup. And if you sum those results, the, like, weighted value of replacements, <laughs> you get the score of that card in Arbitrary Goodness Units. And so the, the Arbitrary Goodness Units spreadsheet is how I decided on, on my last sideboard card. But nice. anyways, uh, I just wanted to share it because it's completely deranged. But, um... I well, mean, it's less based on vibes, but it's, it's calculations that are based on vibes, you know? Mm-hmm. <clears throat> It is. It's it, like, it's it's basing it on vibes of being a little snobby about it, you know. Well, what I would say about it is like it's. 
Okay, here's a saying I really like, all right? If it's worth yeah. doing, it's worth doing with fake math. Mm, that's a great saying. <laughs> uh, Otterhaus, you, you should know that this, 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 I do this kind of shit a lot. This, this is not that, like, I've never done this exact thing before, but I have done this sort of thing before. Uh, yeah. But, yeah, I'm a big fan of it's worth doing with, with it's worth doing fake math. Basically, just what like... What does fake saying even mean? Aren't they all fake sayings? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I think we should. I think we should battle. Our Phoenix games have been taking a long time, so that's I think fair, we should fair. get into it. It's only because Phoenix is just. Oh wow! What is? What is this is probably from yesterday. Uh, anyways, Wait, is this the right Phoenix? Uh, I think so. Okay. Yeah, it's awkward because I think the other ones that I have saved are probably lists from weeks or months ago, which I I've been assured yeah, by Gregor so are just twenties of cards different. Yeah, probably you'd have to be like twenty minutes into the first game before you'd even notice. <laughs> Wow. Accurate shots fired. <laughs> oh yeah, that's the other funny thing is that like it might just be that the changes made the deck worse. Mm, I'm pretty sure that isn't true. <laughs> Greg is feeling his Wheaties today. Mm. I don't really know what that means, but is it because I look so great in my stylish new shirt? Okay. That's Im probably it. Important update. Our opponent was last seen three days ago playing Gwenna Aserak. <laughs> um, can you um share the thing with me? What, the, the link to their deck list or? No, no, no. The um the match. Oh, you can't see the match. Can Sorry. You, the screen share, yeah. I mean I assume our hands a keep, but I haven't seen it yet. Yeah. Well, it's any Phoenix hand, so it's a keep, don't worry. Nice. Wow, great question, BLJ. You can either fill out the form that's on our Twitter from a few days ago and pre-order one, or you can just come up to me at RCDC where I'll have some extras. Or you can come up to me at RC Vegas where I'll have lots of extras. But great question. Okay, so I'll warn you advance. I don't fully understand what our opponent's deck does. Okay. But I'm gonna keep Me this hand. Nice. Like, I understand a little what it does. I believe it's about playing Aserac, which bounces itself back, which like procs all the biz. Yeah. Uh oh. Um I guess I'll take Sleight of Hand, so if I opt into a land I can then slide off off it as well, or if I, you know. Oh, that's true. That's a good point, yeah. Is this deck 50 Hatred Strike deck? Aggro. Glad you asked. No. It's above that. Um. Hmm. What do you want to do here? I, I don't know if I want to kill this elf because I, I think we might need to kill like better cards. So you want to free the Fae? Well. Given that I don't, I think we should. I think we should free the Fey. Yeah. Like on their turn. Okay, I think so too. Mm. Chaos Greg is back. Wait, he sounds fine on my end. No, oh, okay. Oh. I, they just mean that I'm in the chaos dimension. Oh sure, sure. He oh, it's just because I don't have a very nice microphone over here. That's just it's because you're you. We have to use my my bad microphone. Look, we have some budget, but we don't have enough budget for two fancy microphones, especially when I'm almost never in the Chaos Dimension. Okay, let's... Actually, let's probably just Slight, the Sorcery Speed one. I like Slight. Hmm. Oh, Greg sounded better until recently? Oh no, don't say that. Since the, sc the screen share ruined it? Greg sounds completely normal to me. Like, literally completely normal. Uh... I don't understand what's happening. Oh, so, so, okay. wait, 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 I can fix this, I think. Wait, no, wait, hold on. I just need, what about now? Could now be better? It, it, it all sounds completely normal to me. Well, I know. That's the same. So hmm. why is it weird for Twitch chat, but not for me? 
That's they, a really good question. I thought they heard what I heard. Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. Hey, Andrew, you know the the mute button that I said doesn't do anything? Which one? You know the second mute button that I'm concerned doesn't do anything on oh, your thing? Oh, wow. Now I can hear an echo if I do that. Um. Did you mute? You, okay, now it's probably really echoed. Well, now I, I undid it. Okay. Oh, wait, wait. Try now. Try something else. No, no, no. No, now I can't hear you. Can chat hear you right now? Yeah, okay. Now I'm just muted. Okay, so now I, okay. now I can hear you twice, apparently. Well, hmm. I can hear you once, but they can hear you twice? It's very weird. They can hear me twice? That's not good. I mean, I can hear you once. What? Oh, my God. Okay. Um, why wasn't this happening before? I don't understand what I did wrong. Um, Do you want to try unscreen sharing? Because apparently that's when things changed. But that doesn't make any sense. I know. Oh, the screen share is sharing my audio? That doesn't make any sense. No, it does, but no, because you're, 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 yeah, Greg is muted on the Discord call. So that, that, yeah. that can't be true, what you're describing. Um... Nice, great draw. Yeah, I just have. I'm just gonna do some stuff while this is all happening. It might not be the best. Yeah. Stuff. <laughs> I appreciate you explaining to our opponent that we're having audio issues. <laughs> I w they might need to know, Greg. I don't want them to be like, why is my opponent, the famous streamer, playing so slowly, you know? Uh-huh. Okay. I guess we're just going to live with this at least for now, because I can't do anything else. The Discord audio of the screen share. Um, well, the, I don't think Greg can hear me if he does that. Wait, are you wearing headphones, Greg? Yes. Hmm. Yeah, then I have no idea. Okay. Uh, so here I could free the Fae into a removal spell. I think that's more important than getting Prost down and making my Phoenix huge. That seems true, right? Yeah, I'll just communicate with Semaphore for the rest of the match. <laughs> <laughs> could I put a shoe on my head? Glad you asked. No. <laughs> Okay, so far this game hasn't been dead on artist talent, but I think it's about to. <laughs> I just don't know what we did to make Greg into a robot even. Uh-oh. I don't know what's ha I don't know where this goes exactly, but I'm worried it goes somewhere. Does this go somewhere? I think we're dead. Wait, why? So... Because Rona makes two mana, right, off Kin and Relic of Legends. Oh. Two mana is how much Akarak costs. Yes. So they have infinite, they can go into the dungeon infinite times. And that will kill me in some way, yeah. It, 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 it's, a, it's, a, it's a hideously long way on Moto, but yeah, I'm dead. Well, I yeah. wasn't holding a Pierce because I didn't understand the deck had Relic of Legends in it. To be clear about why I did it. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so I acknowledge oh, that might have been wrong. But... Relic, but they can tap Akarak. Okay, yeah, that also that that's it. Okay, wait. While we're sideboarding, let's uh, let's do some this. Okay, what this do you want to do? After si sideboard quickly, and then we'll try and fix audio. Okay. Well, luckily it's not a matchup I've never played in my life that I've figured on the fly or anything. Um. I'll do that, I guess. Okay, what's up? 
What, what do you want me to try? Oops, I accidentally muted you. Okay, should I? Is there anything I should try to fix the the audio thing? I mean, yeah. What? So. <laughs> Okay, well, oh. if you figure out what I should do, I can try to fix it. No, it shouldn't have anything to do with my headphones, as it's still, it's not taking sound out of my headphones. Well, I mean, I suspect it, it, it I mean, it definitely could be something on my end, but I have no idea what. You're, wait, no, because then I can't hear you at all. We've determined that. Yeah, in the, in the V... Okay, I, there's some stuff I can try that will take me a while if I if I if I if I need to try it. If I need to go deep, um, but yeah. Challenge of defeat is the best imaginable card against red black aggro. That's the point of it. It's pretty straightforward. Okay, yeah, chat says not that bad. We should finish the game first. I mean, that is currently what I'm doing. There are no issues. <laughs> I mean, yeah, the most annoying part mm. is definitely that I have no idea what our opponent's deck does, so we have to figure that out as this is all, all this chaos is happening. I think the most annoying part is how, um, how little your card resembles an owl. <laughs> How little my card was an owl's deranged comment. I don't know. Uh, maybe I should go. I, someone requested that I go get the owls. Maybe I will. Just a classic go get the owls request. Company. All right. Wow. I just listened to myself and it's, it's pretty bad. Wow. It's wild that... I, the the strange thing about the whole thing is that you sound completely normal to me, just like yeah, literally indistinguishable from typical Greg. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Are you saying that I'm always a robot? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Mm. Also, yeah, I'm definitely just kind of vibing in the match because I, I don't have time to think about anything because, you know, there's there's too much nonsense happening. Yeah. Mm -mm. I think this game is going well-ish, but I'm not exactly sure. I mean, it's kind of hard to imagine what it would look like if it was going better. Well, okay. How, it, it literally, it, it can't be a mic issue on Greg's end because yeah. I hear Greg completely normally like literally he sounds perfect to me right so whatever's going on has to be like a setting i have or or something it, it just it just can't be yeah it just it just can't be that mm. hmm, they're just passing Thanks, Matt. I don't want to tap out. They might company. I'll just untap. I agree. <laughs> this is very funny. <laughs> So wait, do you want to free the Fae in response? Serious I guess comment? I probably do, yeah, okay. Because, like, if we hit Spell Pierce, we do it. Like this. Yeah. I don't think I want that. I like that. Yeah, this is actually my normal voice. I just, like, usually am putting on a front. <laughs> mm -mm. <laughs> <laughs> mm. 
What is a tranquil frillback? Yeah, whatever. It does a thing. I'll gust it. I don't really want our graveyard to be exiled. I mean, it, 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 it honestly, like, is it a big deal to graveyard exiled or anything? But oh, I know. Sort of might as well. But, the, okay, the, the weird part about the, the OBS thing is nothing about my OBS setup is different from yesterday. So why is the outcome different? Right? Like, it, it's possible, but it's very weird. Like, something changed on its own or something? But... Yeah, you hate to see the solar winds. <laughs> Stopping the screen share has no effect, yes. But I will obviously check the OBS setup. I just I just don't understand is the thing. Mm -mm. Well, I got nothing and I like it. All right. Mm -mm. Okay, well, we can't quite kill this turn, so I guess I'm just going to hold up Fiery Pulse. God, it'd be so funny if we died. If we die, I, I'm going to suspect that I could have won with more tight with tighter play, but... Uh-huh. Okay. <laughs> um... Yeah, so do I still like how we're configured? I think so. No, okay, let's let's just look at audio settings very briefly. Uh, so Greg, it looks like you're using your MacBook Pro microphone built in. Is that what you intend to do? Well, yes, but how do you know that? Oh, you know that through- I can, um, OBS tells me. Through Video Ninja. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so the, the thing I could do is I could, I think I could try to leave the Discord call and just use Video Ninja. I'm not sure if that would help, but it's also uncharted territory for us. We've never done this before. Yeah. Do you want me no, to try that? We can try it. Oh, what is happening? Uh... Okay, did that work? Can you it hear me? Work. I can hear you. Yeah. I can hear you. Can chat chat? Did I did I when I just did change anything? Yeah. It's the same. Oh God! How could it be the same? Well, it means whatever's happening is Video Ninja's fault, not Discord's fault. So wait, let's do the classic new room fix. Oh wait, someone says it's good now. Okay, but more people are saying it's the same. <laughs> what right. if we try the what if we try the classic fix i can make a new room but let's do it after this because okay. our point okay. was nice to me and i don't want to annoy them too much yeah 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 <laughs> chat's so nice also i i now can't see the screen but it's okay i'll no, just watch on the Discord call because we ident we've proven that it isn't that it cannot be Wait, now I'm hearing you double. Oh, God. Uh, oh, wait. Yeah, that's... Sorry, I can fix that. Okay. Now you're not. Okay. Nice. I'm not. It's kind of nice, though. I see... I see what... what uh, I see what Twitch chat likes about it. Um. Okay. So, do you think I should keep this hand in this matchup? I guess I probably should, right? I think so. It's not it's a just great a good hand. hand. Yeah. But... I do think Spell Priest is kind of good against them. I like the fast clock on the Shredder. I, I think I'm still in. Oh, that's a good idea. I'm going to try leaving and coming back. <laughs> oh. Uh, new plan. Who knows if that did anything? We, the world may never know. 
Is our opponent on green black wolves? Great question. Yes. Roughly, <laughs> yes. Okay, well, that's the card the deck's named after, so I should probably kill it if I can. Yeah. Um. Do I cast Sleight of Hand? I guess so. I want to find a land so. or a red spell. Yeah. Fuck. Uh. Okay, this is very bad. Because I imagine now we have a pretty real chance of just dying. Um, so it's just, just this kill us? No, right? What just this does is we... They can pay one to go into the dungeon, essentially. Oh, they trigger my thing, though. That's actually really nice. They also grow their, their guy every time. Sure, that's true. Oh, this deck is so weird. Um, and I guess I'm maybe about to lose to it due to our draw not functioning, really. Uh, I mean, maybe I wasn't supposed to play the Lava Guide Pathway on and kill the Elf, but it seemed good at, like, full time walk them. I don't yeah. know. This is full infinite? Why is it full infinite? It doesn't seem full infinite. Like, aren't, once they use this treasure, aren't, aren't they done? It seems like they're done. I don't understand how it's full infinite. Like, I think that... Okay, well, the land means I guess they can go one more time, maybe? But they still... It's still not infinite. So now they, they make two, two, two one ones <laughs> and attack me for seven. Okay. <clears throat> all right. All right. Uh, I guess pass. Yeah, what are we going to do if they just make Akrak a bunch more times and venture into some dungeons? Well... I assume good stuff happens. Yeah, I don't really know, but I don't know how, what I can do about it, really, is the thing. I guess yeah. I could try to kill the Acerak. I could try to yeah. find Lightning Axe. So, like... Well, yeah, I guess I was going to do that. I should have done it main phase, huh? Because I got I get another look. Yeah. Up five. Okay. Fine. Let's do it. I apologize for screaming. Yeah. Okay, I did not huh. find that. Is there Funky Owl Acerec? Uh No, thanks for asking. Yeah, because they're about to enter the Mad Wizard's Lair, which is pretty bad for us. Yeah. You hate to see them in entering the Mad Wizard's Lair. It's never a good sign. Chad, if you out there yeah. ever have, have an opponent who enters the Mad Wizard's Lair, it's, it's very bad. So they, they draw three cards, they reveal them, and they cast one for free. Okay, that one on his team, now it's an actual infinite. So now we're dead. Yeah. Yeah. All right. <laughs> wow, I haven't described the candle sponsor. <laughs> no axes off the top, please. <laughs> I didn't see that. Great question. Today's candle sponsor as a robot. Wait, don't join the match yet. Okay, Greg's candle. The candle sponsor as a robot, Greg, is this lovely Cabernet candle, um, handmade in for some reason Charleston, South Carolina, with notes of currant, cedar, and green peppercorn. Um, a friend gave me this uh, last year when I had COVID and I took a sniff of it and I was like, wow, this candle doesn't smell like anything. And they were like, Greg, I think, I think you have COVID. 
that's a fun story about this scandal. Deranged story, but okay. Uh, but um, yeah, given given to me by friend of the stream, surname zero. Greg, I'm sending. I made a Can new video ninja room in case that helps. I'm sending you okay, a new cool. room. Okay, cool. Yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna. Okay, so chat. Greg's gonna disappear for a second while he goes in the new room. Um. Well, it's when you say it's one hundred percent two audio sources. The thing is, I just know that it. it like I know that that's. Imp I, I don't understand how that's possible. I guess is the is the issue, but it maybe somehow is. It'd just be so weird for me to only be able to hear one of them. Well, I, yeah, I understand that that's what it sounds like. I just, I don't understand. Yeah. Basically, well, there's only one guest source in, in this, though. Okay, I'm getting Greg back. Okay, say something, Greg. Something, Greg. Okay, well, you still sound normal to me, but I don't know about anyone else. Because you said no sound normal to me the whole time. Robot, yeah. Okay. But what the heck is wrong? Should we try it the other way? Should we try and hear me from so Discord? Try now. Talk now. Now? Talk now. Can you, can chat hear Greg? Great. Wow, we did it. Okay. What I did is very weird, but let's not did worry about it. I thing? fixed it. Okay. Did you mute the thing? Well. One of the buttons we frequently mute pre-stream that we're worried does nothing. I muted, I muted. So yeah, I'm interesting so this must be related to the fact that people can sometimes hear you when we mute everything pre yeah 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 it is it is because i something's mute. weird some it well, didn't used to be this way but it's now OBS changed something in the in, in yeah. the last like two weeks or we changed something i don't think we changed something i think obs changed how their thing worked that sounds like that's something yeah. they would do but i agree all right well, our opponent is currently o4 that's if we lose to them, it'll, that'll be embarrassing. So. Okay. Greg, I, I, I was tinkering around with a lot of sound settings recently, but I, I think this doesn't have anything to do with any of them. Maybe it was the green screen. Yeah, maybe. Could be. Mm -mm. Well, goodbye, Robot Greg. You, Greg, Robot Greg's like a full life, to them, I think. If we lose to them, we have to cut artist talent. That's a great comment. <laughs> I mean, I would love to get the first sweat of hand back that I cut for no reason and it's very undisciplined. Uh -huh. um, like, throughout this whole testing process, I've been thinking that not playing four sleight of hand is incredibly undisciplined, and I basically still think that. And yeah. I really hope I don't do it, because that would be undisciplined. Hydrate! Oh, nice. It was also redeemed earlier while we were doing stuff, and uh, and we didn't do it, so I got to hydrate twice. Yeah. Also, I like that Jen Beingold redeemed that, because that username is a reference to, of course, my favorite Grandmaster. Nice. Also, wait, hold on. I'll be right back. I mean, okay. Todd, I had all of those things before <laughs> without, without, without touching, touching props. It just like it's de I think it's like clearly wrong to play four impulse right now. I think it's clearly right to play three. Um, yep. Also, while I was up, I got some funky owl ledger shutters. Look at how funky and owl like they are. No, I have three impulses and four lightning axes. I was shocked by how beloved my tweet about my funky owl ledger shutters was. <laughs> mm. um, but maybe I've just made it. Maybe I'm famous now. So all my tweets get lots of likes. Okay, so here I'm going to do something a little weird. Um, this is a Phoenix Mirror thing. 
So <laughs> what I'm going to do is play yep. Ledger Shredder and pass. Yeah. Uh, okay, so they're responding with this, which is a good play, because now if I counter, I don't get a connive, but I'm still going to counter it. Yeah. Um, yeah, we're uh, we're pivoting to Akarak. We both are. Mm -mm. Hmm. Let's opt, I think. Yeah. Okay, but I want to leave up Brazy B. I think now I want to play Slight or Splayer Bluff Pass. Why do you want to leave up leave up Brazy B? Um, because they're gonna bring back Phoenix next turn, and bouncing Phoenix is kind of the best answer to it. Oh, I guess that's true. Okay. Mm -mm. Well, I'm definitely good better than at least some of the people in my chat. That said, I think there's high risk of there being at least one person in chat better than I am. But... <laughs> uh, me? I was thinking Alan Wu, but you know. Mm, sounds like me. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Oh yeah, there are a lot of Azak's alts. Those are definitely not good company. <laughs> Sam, depends on the skill in question. <laughs> Sam's skill set is very divergent from mine. Hmm. Now it could be time for Snare Thopter. I think maybe it is. Okay. It's pretty rough that we just spent four mana to do the thing that they spent zero mana to do, but... Whoa, whoa, whoa. they spent zero mana to do it twice. Yeah, good point. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I don't love how this particular game is going, if I'm being honest. I want chat to know that before the stream, I was playing a Duskmorn Sealed League to get to do one Sealed League of practice before my LCQ. I was 6-0, and then I lost three in a row to... Uh to be defeated. Yeah, that's a beat, all right. <clears throat> Shocking. Yeah, I definitely threw one of the games, but you know. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm definitely yeah. losing at the moment. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Wait a minute. We're not of it yet. Some wise people have said the only thing that matters in the Phoenix matchup is how many treasure cruises you resolve. Yeah, I did say that. <laughs> hey, um, hey, Andrew, I have a funny line for you. I don't know about you, <laughs> but I'm feeling treasure cruise. <laughs> Thanks, Greg. I <laughs> get it. I do get it. <laughs> wow, weird that that quote was already there, given that I, I just made it up at this moment. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I guess I'm going to play this Ledger Shredder. It's not what I was trying to achieve this turn, but it is where I ended up. Yeah. Mm -mm. I'm definitely going to lose this game, <laughs> FYI. Uh... 
to more or less a strictly worse version of our deck. Yeah. Well, yeah, Sam, mostly I I think that magic has is actually a lot of like different disparate skills and there are a lot of people for whom I know that they're much better at some skills than I am and also much worse at some skills than I am. And it's just like, am I better than that person? It's just like, it's not really a real question to ask. It's like, it, what's, what are we actually doing? Yeah. Mm -mm. All right. Um, so in the mirror, the way I generally sideboard is the spewed in this in and I cut all the impulse equivalents and I trim to one brazy bee and if I play on our town I'm gonna leave it in the mirror but I'm not sure I'm gonna play it obviously mm -mm. well yeah but see Alan's better than me at most things <laughs> so it makes it easier yeah. to assess <laughs> but Alan's the goat isn't is the thing isn't Sam black better than you at most things <laughs> God, Sam Black and I are much more, much weirder, I guess, is the thing. Yeah, okay, fair. He's just, like, the exact opposite of me. I, I don't know. Aside from the fact that he's good. Uh... <laughs> 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 I mean, that's a, certainly a reasonable claim. <laughs> nice. Um, I have Spell Pierce. I guess I'll just let this happen. Yep. Do you want to resolve Free the Fae now? No, I don't think so. Because uh, if they just play Elena Pass back, I think that's fine. I'll just untap. Okay. Okay, now I'm going to free the fake, because I don't want to... There's no one drop I can't be countering. Yeah. Hmm. I think I want another free pick lock. I like that. It isn't insane to take Mystical Dispute, but it's, I think, a little wrong. Well, like... How do I put this? S Sam nice. is like the the, the the least ruthless someone could possibly be while still being good. <laughs> like, it's difficult to describe how unruthless Sam is with the understanding that Sam is good. <laughs> that that's how I, that's how I would phrase it. Like well, why did we do this now? Um, I was just trying to resolve it, but maybe I shouldn't have. Okay. I guess that's fair. Mm -hmm. Like, I feel like a conversation I've had with, like, I've, I've worked with Sam before. And, like, it, there's times when I'm like, Sam, I think your deck is a worse version of deck Y. And Sam's like, yeah, I'm going to play it. <laughs> <laughs> and it's like, it's not like huh, Sam isn't wait. aware of what's going on, but, like, he certainly is being ruthful. Um, I mean, it sounds like you're wrong. The Ruth count has never lied. <laughs> mm. Sam is more ruthful than Kdroge, but yeah, Kdroge is pretty ruthful. Uh, <laughs> Let's consider... I think this is a Phoenix turn? Yeah. Yeah, it seems like one. I do like this aspect of the stream where I have to... <laughs> I have to ha discuss very complicated magic philosophy while I'm playing a deck that's hard. <laughs> but, you know, <laughs> it's okay. Yeah, I'm just gonna keep playing blue lands. I don't I don't need no red lands. Yeah. That is basically the job, yes. 
that's what they pay us the nothing for, you know? Mm -hmm. It's okay, though. I have a plan to get Arclight Phoenix in the graveyard. It's a good plan. Is it just nice? I like the plan. <laughs> Nice. Wow. Is it cons <laughs> I have a different plan to get our queens into the graveyard. <laughs> well, yeah, Sam's very good. <laughs> mm. But, like, yeah, I, I would say that relative to most other, like, strong Magic players, I basically made a career of, like, being ruthless and putting in the work. That's, like, that's, like, my thing. Those, those two things. Um... <laughs> Like, if you're a friend of Andrew's and he wants you to do well in the tournament, he will suggest you play the same deck that he plays. Always. Mm -mm. <laughs> I don't know what the P. Rose of Magic means, but it could mm, be true. Don't worry too much about it. <laughs> Andrew will allow you to play other decks. Like, if Matt were to just be like, I, I randomly like to play the RC, Andrew, what deck should I play? Andrew would say Phoenix. I'd probably say stop messing with me, Matt. Oh, sure. <laughs> yeah, I mean, maybe they have a counter back, but definitely disputing this. Yeah. Mm hmm nice and yeah like i don't know th there's other stuff right like like i'm like if you ask like what are my best skills in magic like i'm good at mulliganing and sideboarding you know i'm not like mm -hmm. i'm not like some technical god like lots of people are better at technical play than i am um <laughs> yeah i mean that was definitely a failing of mine certainly <laughs> Tristan, you should register Nadu at PTMH3, but if you play the GP, you should play Storm. Don't worry, I ran the numbers. It's correct. Nice. Mm -mm. Also, possibly Tristan should play Storm, but probably no one else on Earth. So keep that in <laughs> mind. Mm -mm. Oh, you love the Spire Bluff, Spire Bluff Storm card hands. Yeah, it's the perfect draw. Who are the best technical players? Uh, I think that uh, there's, a, there's a number of people that spring to mind, but like, I'd bring up like... Robot example... Greg? No way. Okay, good. Oh, I see. <laughs> Robot Greg is a technically good player. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I'll dispute this. I like disputing that. <laughs> mm -mm. Cool. 
Greg, do you have a Kindle sponsor to change it to? I do. I didn't notice, but I sure do. Goodbye, Cabernet Candle. The Cabernet Candle is really booming. You can kind of see how how high the, the flame is. So, you know. Yeah, I'm not sure how many options Greg has, given that he's at his apartment rather than in, in my oh, house. Oh, I have plenty. Of don't worry. Oh, don't worry. There are plenty. I only... Oh, change it to something with robot vibes. Oh, how about rainwater lily? Because when you're trying to talk in the rain, it's sometimes muddled. Anyway, this is Rainwater Lily from Target's uh, old Threshold collection. So there are some slight concerns of burns and lacerations, but I think that'll be okay. It has notes of bergamot and lotus. So, you know, that's nice. Notes Wait, of lotus. Someone You'd just to see subscribed or something. Wait, I crap. I, that's I missed why that. I got it. Oh. Is, is, is it gone forever now or what happens? Uh, what color is the lotus? It's like pink. Um, I can check real quick. You should check real quick. And also, okay. let's think about what that should discard after Lightning X. Okay, well, I, I can only do one of those things at once, unfortunately. Okay, you do that, I'll think about Op versus Lightning X. Okay. So, so the, the thing about the Lightning X is if my opponent has another Shredder, I am pretty cold to it right now. Like, if they go, like, Shredder plus Axe, it's, it's sort of a disaster for me. But on the other hand... I sort of don't even, yeah, I mean, it is true that I have low cards in my hand, Corey, but I'm not sure it's that simple. Just like if a shredder, how many cards is a shredder that's alive worth? Like it's, it's kind of worth a lot oh. of cards. Andrew, it was a follow. When it follows, the gears appear for like a second and then go away. Oh, okay, okay. Sorry, sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're good. And look, if you wanted to be thanked for following, you needed to be one of the first 1,000 followers. Bad beats. I think this is a really close play, actually. Like, they could just have second Shredder Axe. That isn't that, isn't that crazy a set of things for them to have. Yeah. I, I think I can discard Opt. But it might be wrong. I'm going to discard uh. Opt, but I'm not sure it's fair. Okay. Where did... Huh. Okay, well, everything's fine now. I have artist talent. <laughs> oh. And maybe this was just playing scared. I don't know. I do certainly wish I had the op now, but... Okay, nice. Okay, given that, I'm just going to play Artist Talent. Yeah, I like that. It's and, kind of a threat. Well, mostly just next turn can be a Phoenix turn, is the idea. Yeah. Uh, quite, I think it's, yeah, I, I think that's possible. I don't think it's like that strong a signal. What is this? What is being cast here? Okay. Well, uh, later shooter comes down. Free the fate. Okay, we're definitely just going to spell pierce that, I think. Oh, um, I like that. And then I guess we'll go to our turn and figure it out from there. Yeah, and, and we're not going to do anything with the artist talent. Well, I think no, right? Because the the axe, I guess we can see if the shredder grows. So if because it, but no, I guess it doesn't even really matter. I think no. I think the answer that just doesn't no. really matter. I yeah, I agree. Um, it just awkward. seems like maybe we should have kept this artist talent as a rectangle to discard. Maybe. I'm not. I think it's kind of good in play in this matchup, but. Maybe that's wrong. Yeah, maybe I should rummage the PLP. God, so hard. Ashiok. 
That's that's interesting. Um I guess it's not that interesting. God. I mean, it kind of seems like we should slam Ashiok. Just like play it and and mill them? Yeah. Or mill us, I don't know. Probably mill them, I would think. I mean, what if you hit a phoenix? Won't you be happy you milled us? I have artist talent. I'm worried about decking. I don't okay. know. Okay. We have 45 cards in our deck. It's never too early to worry about decking with phoenix. Um, I also think it's possible I should discard Ashiok. Okay. But... So wait, let's like let's just talk this through, right? So let's say we play Ashiok and Exile their their bit in some way, right? Yeah. Then, what's our plan next turn? Because I'm just going to be in the same position of I can't get back Phoenixes. But maybe that's okay. It is true though. Yeah. So you want to like free the Fey and cycle the Ashiok with the talent? Well, if I free the Fey and cycle the Ashiok, that still never leads to Phoenix this turn, right? Yeah. So, I think the other line is Axe the Shredder. Axe the. Sh like, I think the other line is like Axe the Shredder go or something. God, that seems. Okay, I think I should play Ashiok and. I and I think I think I think that's the play. Okay, I like playing the Ashiok. And I'm gonna loot away nothing, I think. I mean the okay. only thing I can loot away is the pick lock, but that seems insane. Yeah, I mean it's not that insane because we really want one mana spells, but I don't know, I think it's pretty insane. I think it's pretty insane. And I'm gonna mill them. You can judge me for it if you want. Okay, I will. It's, it's only because I think it's right. Well, I just... Like, I'm just in a game state... Oh, God, I'm, this is such a huge punish for this. Yeah. Oh, God, it's going to grow out yeah. of the range of Axe? Yes. Oh, no. Yeah, I may have beat this game. God damn it. Although, I maybe beat by just playing this card. Uh... Yeah, I mean, very possible I should have just axed the Shredder. I don't know. Wow. We, we got him. Um, Okay, Pigmen, I'm pretty willing to defend the Ashiok. I played a lot with the Ashiok, but... Oh! Okay, well... Okay. I mean, that's... We're back in it now. And I yeah definitely just resolve this while I can. Now, I, I, I might need to axe the Shredder before it grows on their turn. Um, yeah. I'd really rather not do that, but I might need to do it. Yeah. Second props. Okay, so let's count this. So they're gonna they're gonna connive, that's a card. Props all that's two cards, right? Uh yes, it is two cards. Okay, so, so it's I, gonna I, be too big. I don't let them go to combat, target this. And yeah, I think I just axed it. It's very not good, but... Yep. Okay. Uh, cast all my spells. Okay. And I think it's right to play the land... Why did we do that during their turn? To make sure Ledger Shutter did not grow. It was right by a lot. Because Ledger Shutter was going to outgrow the axe. Okay, well that's not a show of strength, certainly. Oh my god. Punished. <laughs> 
it was definitely right to play the land, but I did get punished. Yeah, I agree. How unusual is their green splash? Uh, I've seen it before, but it's not common. Yeah, I sort of blame artist talent, but maybe I shouldn't. It's a, it's a little unfair, I admit. Any treasure cruises? Okay. Like, I've seen people splash both green and white for quote-unquote hard answers to high noon, but I don't think any of it's actually very logical. But I have seen it. Mm -mm. Uh-oh. Yeah. I also maybe should have Lightning Axe that one turn. Lightning Axe plus Feed to Fate. I don't know. It was tough. I mean, Profs is just very good in the mirror. And in general, if your opponent has a 2 0 pros advantage, it's hard to overcome that. But, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I also maybe should just sideboard out Earth's Helm even if I play it. But, not sure. Mm -mm. Lightning Axe there, Phoenix to get back Phoenixes. Okay. How many phoenixes are they getting back? Oh my god, all four? Oh, just just four. <laughs> nothing, nothing to worry about. I mean, okay, here's, here's the plus side, Greg, and there is a plus side. Yeah. So, if we draw a treasure cruise into a phoenix turn, uh -huh. we could, in theory, win. Okay. But I wouldn't say it's likely. Okay, step one. They just have negate or something? Oh, mystical dispute. Yep, that's lethal. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, I think I punted that game out the window. Well, hmm, I wonder what card caused it to happen. Yeah. Valid point for sure. Mm. GG's, GG's, Sylvester. Oh, yeah, yeah GG's, Sylvester. Yeah, I think I beefed that game by a lot. But <laughs> it is what it is. Yeah, I think I shouldn't have played the Artist Talent, and I think I shouldn't have... I think I should have just... Not play the Ashiok, probably. But, I don't know. I really did not like it. Oh, wait. I was going to talk about Ashiok. Yeah, do it. So, the reason I like Ashiok a lot is because... Uh, basically, I think in the mirror, if you have no Ashioks, your opponent can, like, tap out with impunity. Because there's sort of, like, no good sorcery they can even play. Like, it's sort of like, what are they even afraid of? Like, your best thing you could do is, like, Treader or maybe, like, Free the Fae. It's, like, uniquely good and uniquely powerful. Um, mm -hmm. And there's a lot of game states where if you just have the Ashiok, like, for example, let's say it's turn four and your opponent has left up one counter spell and you just have Ashiok plus counter, a lot of times you just immediately win. Like, the game just ends mm -hmm. instantly. Which is true of almost no other card. Um, but. Wow, we've played AO for the win a lot of times on stream, too. Are they playing Grease Fang? Is that what's happening here? Oh, maybe. Yep, looks yeah. like Grease Fang. And surprisingly, with the Cash Grab, actually. A lot of Grease don't have this card anymore because they have Say It's name. Okay. Although I guess. Cash some... Grab? Yeah. Atlanok? What's name should I say? You could say cash grab. Okay. 
if I say it three times while I summon a squirrel, yeah, that's pretty nice. Now I have seen lists that have cash grab and say its name and no grizzly salvage, but I don't totally get it. I'll level with you. I don't really understand why this is so. I mean, yeah. to be clear, I'm aware that there's a small difference between the two cards and that it could be better, but four is just a lot less than five. It seems worse to me. But anyways. Um, Tristan, I'll, I can answer that question. Less than you. <laughs> what squirrel would I like to summon? Oh, I don't know. Any squirrel will do. Okay, so they're playing the Overlord, which will get them back the Grease Fang now, is what's happening. Yeah. Because they took land before, I believe. But this is all fine. Also, wait, did they not take the Grease Fang? Uh, wait, looks like no. What did they take? Shieldred. Shieldred. Okay, well, that's fine. Agreed. Mm. Yeah, in paper you could spell pierce this. That's a good paper only play. Definitely, yeah. Mm -mm. Yeah, so the, the way I think you should play this uh this matchup in general, just to discuss it briefly, is you shouldn't like do anything. Like ever. Nice. Um which I understand is kind of stupid sounding. But I don't think it's that stupid sounding. You should just pretend you're Tristan, for example. Hmm. If you are Tristan, then 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 just play intuitively. <laughs> just in case anyone in the chat is Tristan. Yeah, um, I mean, Andrew, I don't know about you, but yeah, I think I'm, I'm feeling, feeling Treasure Cruise. I think I'm feeling Treasure Cruise as well. Nice. Okay, well, I'd like a land. Yeah, agreed. Nice. Nice. And I guess I'll just discard the hand size. It's fine. Yeah, like an impulse? Yeah. Maybe, an, I guess an impulse, yeah. They have multiple X5. Yeah. I mean, I don't hate if they slam Shieldred just brazy being it and time locking them. Why is that better than just axing it? I guess. What, are they going to recast it next turn? <laughs> yeah, okay, let's discard Impulse. I guess part of it is I just can't really imagine wanting three Impulses, but... Yeah. Wow, yeah. I mean, you can't get t-shirts with that, but you can get t-shirts with the Systematic logo on them! <laughs> Jesus Christ, Greg. I'm literally surrounded right now by System Magic t-shirts. There are so many. Mm -mm. Hmm. We are reaching the part of the game where we might choose to do a thing. Okay. Although we could also just pass and play Brazen Borrower. <laughs> I mean, Shay, that's great, but you know what I meant. It is a very it's just as cozy as the last t-shirt. It might even be cozier, actually. Yeah, let's let's actually soft. let's continue nothing. I I, I I'm we on paid, it. We, we paid the 50 extra cents per t-shirt to make them softer. That's did, not did even we, a did, joke. Did we really? That's hilarious. <laughs> yes. Well, I did that last time. That's why they're kind of soft. They were just like do you want the softer version or no? It's 50 cents extra per shirt. And I was, I tried them both on. I was like, easy softer version. What's the candle tonight? Great question. The candle of the day is this lovely rainwater lily candle from Target's Threshold Collection with notes of bergamot and lotus.
Nice. Love to hear that, Corey. So if I do this down to you should, um, six, we could. You should consider having a candle of the day for each of your streams. It's a very popular bit. <laughs> what should I do here? I could free into treasure cruise. Yeah. Which is him. It kind of feels like if that was our plan, we shouldn't have played Brazy B. But. Wow. Yeah. That's a great candle, Corey. Corey, I'm going to start coming into your stream and asking you if there's a candle of the day. I hope you're ready. Okay, let's not do that. Let's play more Mopey yeah. creatures. Seriously. Okay. Mostly because I don't want to discard to hand size, is the thing. Yeah. Where if I cruise next turn, that will be a problem. And then I can cruise into a Phoenix and discard it. What? Nice. Is that why I don't get to commentate? Because I'm too into candles and there's no overlap? Is this Overlord? That's kind of nice from them. I mean, yeah. So now are they going to get back Grease Fang? Sh Shieldred? I have no idea which. Shieldred? Shieldred. Okay. It looks like Shieldred. Yeah, they're trying to like overwhelm our Lightning Axes, which isn't an insane plan, but I don't think is necessarily going to yeah. work. Um, they are going to have two Overlords here, though. Yeah. Wow, we completely missed. That's pretty savage. Yeah. Um, if Artist Hat were sleight of hand, we wouldn't have completely missed. Update. <laughs> uh... I just want to bring back, bring up Artist Talent many failings while I can, you know? Yeah. Because you're saying it's not going to be in your deck for very long, so. <laughs> well, certainly that does seem pl plausible right now. All right, so let's uh, discard Phoenix. Yep. And then, I guess consider. I like consider. Ooh, that's great. Yeah, and then I guess I'll just do that. OK. And then play Shivan Reef. Yeah. Mm. And attack for a 10. Yeah, and then next time we just kill them, basically. Seems seems pretty good. Yeah. Like, the shield route doesn't even matter at this point. Only Grease Fang matters, and I have two answers to it rolled up. So even, like, Thoughtsy Grease Fang doesn't beat me. Yep. Also, I guess Grease Fang just... There, there's no Parhelion, so I guess Grease Fang is just also irrelevant. It's, it's, it's all irrelevant, I guess. Yeah. I cast an extra spell that turn. Well, yeah, I mean... I, I just kind of wanted to Lightning Axe the thing at the end. I guess I could have waited till the Lightning Axe it. Maybe it didn't matter. I, I liked casting the extra spell there. I mean, we could have just let the thing hit us. It doesn't really matter. We can take five and they can draw a card. Yeah. Oh, everybody loves Grease Fang right now. You should know we almost streamed Grease Fang this week. That did sort of happen. Greg's overstating it a bit. And by almost, I mean, I said, hey, Andrew, should we see, stream Grease Fang? And he said, nah. But that's about as close as we get to streaming, streaming any deck. <laughs> Okay, so I don't think this is a Brazy B matchup. <laughs> I do think it's a thing in the ice matchup. It's probably a spell pierce. Is oh I guess Aether Gust good? It's not obviously good. Um Yeah. Okay, to be fair though, a lot of times when I say, Hey Andrew, should we stream this deck? He says, Yeah, I think we should. I, I think I'm over fifty percent on Hey Andrew, should we stream this deck? Wow, John Watts, thanks. Not only is there one of this shirt in the room with me, but there's about seventy of them. <laughs> Some of them are still in boxes, though. Hmm. Oh, don't worry. Last week, we streamed some decks, and they were bad. Andrew is like, trust me, Leyline's great. And then <laughs> it was very bad. <laughs> do you, Greg, how do you think, do you think this is how I should sideboard? I'm not really sure. Um, like specifically, I'm wondering if like negate is good, but it yeah. might be bad. I don't think it's good. Yeah. Is is pipping needle good? Yeah, I'm also not sure of that. That's all. That's a valid question for sure. Yeah. Um. Cause like <laughs> the pipping needle that is accurate. <laughs> I mean, 
I like that you can name Hearst, which they sometimes have on the sideboard. But yeah, I think naming Parhelion or Chariot is pretty fake, and it's like even more fake nowadays. Yeah. Oh wait, I maybe should leave in Brazy Beast for the nine nine. So they actually play Akrak. I mean, I doubt yeah. this opponent does because well, we I guess saw this one might not. Grab. No, I guess we didn't see anything. Okay, okay. Yeah. Okay, let's do this. Okay. I'm not sure it's right. I think if you get three buys, you should play you should probably play Grease Fang for sure at the RC. I, I think at three buys it's a clear play Grease Fang angle. Mm-hmm. I think if it's I think if it's I think if it's two I think if it's two buys, I'm interested, but I'm not sure. Andrew, do you think if a genie offered me the deal that I would, I don't need to LCQ, but I have to play Grease Fang, do you think I should accept it? No, I think you should decline. LCQs are too free. But that's five buys. <laughs> no, it isn't. You start with like Oh, four three buys. buys. Sorry, limited. Oh, wait. They have Kuzel Splinker, Greg. We're in trouble now. Oh, no. They put it in their hand? Yeah, they did. Oh, I'm not sure how we'll ever beat that one. It does seem difficult. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I think they just play a tap land here. Yeah, the, the buy question is nice. I, I okay, wait, I'm, I'm going to go on record with a controversial stance here, Greg. Are you ready? Yeah. I would play Grease Fang with two buys. Wow. One buy, I'm not interested, though. What One buy is, is... That's beyond the pale. Um, would I play Blue-White with one buy? Yes. <laughs> Certainly. <laughs> Certainly. <laughs> Do you think they're going to play Kutzel Slinker here? No. They gotta okay, hold well, it. we can we we can play this game with them. <laughs> the dredge deck I'm not interested at four buys. <laughs> um yeah, should, the question is should I Prismari command? I mean it sort of plays in the Kuzel Splinker if I if I do it. But like what Maybe else am I for make a treasure double loot? Yeah, let's just untap. I think I want to untap. It just it just like sort of can't be bad for us that like they're doing nothing. I'm gonna slight now. I like slight. I only didn't want to before because I wanted to leave up Prismari. Okay, pick lock is nice. So that way we can we can try to like bait out the Kuzels with the pick lock and then kind of refill. Yep. Um Okay. What modes do you think they're going to pick? I, I don't know. I legitimately... I think they might scry two game two. Nope, they're exiling my graveyard. Nope, they're exiling two cards from your bin. <laughs> they, okay, they, well... They, they got me. <laughs> Once again, chat, we, we got to have a talk about Kutzel's <laughs> Flanker. Here, here, here's the talk. I do not think Kutzel's Flanker is playable in standard. <laughs> this is Pioneer. <laughs> It's it's just it's just not a playable standard card. Like I don't I don't really know what to tell you. Um Oh, Ben White's many people have put it in their deck. People love Kutzel Swanker. So I'm just gonna kill this and free the Fey, I think. Okay, do you wanna free the Fey first? Sure. I mean I guess maybe they have another Kutzel Swanker, but I'll I'll fight through it somehow. I'm not a fan. I think we'll find a way. Well, they even do. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you got me. My graveyard's exiled. Oh, that's nice. So this could be a Phoenix turn, but I, I don't even think it really needs to be. Yeah, I don't think so. 
I think I pretty should just like Ledger Shredder go. How deranged is that? I like Ledger Shredder go. Like it does mean I'm going to 14 probably because I just won't kill her thing, but that seems fine. That seems fine. I see no issues. Yeah, people do love charms. I mean, I do admit Kuzo Flanker bears a resemblance to Is It Charm in the sense that much like Is It Charm, it does any job you want as long as you want it done poorly. <laughs> Oh, that is that is so spell pierced. Yep. <clears throat> and I think we just lightning axe that as well. Okay. Is that foolish? I don't think it's foolish. Yeah, I can discard this, I think. I don't think I need the thing here. I want to discard the thing, yeah. Well, but Todd, it has to be enough that you choose to do it. Like that's the that's the whole whole premise of the thing. Mm -mm. Seven cards in the bin. Hmm. I mean, I definitely don't want to tap out completely here. Let's slide and see what we see. I think. I like that. I'm pretty down to discard Prismari Command. Oh, or Second Cruise I think we should. could go. Maybe Second Cruise could go. No, I, I don't think I need the Second Cruise. Why do we need the Prismari Command? Well, mostly just if they do something to my graveyard again. Okay, fair. Okay, okay, okay. Th that's, that's the argument. Okay, great. Now we'll take River Glide Pathway and we'll cruise. Mm. Greg, I don't know about you, but I'm feeling treasure cruise. Nice. Mm -mm. Great use of my joke. And I think just hit for three, right? And pass? Yeah, I think so. Oh my god, I don't know about you, this is nice. <laughs> <laughs> well, something you need to understand is that, okay, I consider this a personal failing, but I'm very bad with accents. <laughs> but I, I do at least, you know, I, I do at least have the dignity to feel ashamed about it. Mm -hmm. Okay, great. Wow, great. Okay, Greg, it's time. I agree that it's time. I think just, just one is good. I think one is good. Wow, Flinker is just like the reverse picklock prankster. Prankster fills our graveyard. Quinzel Slinker exiles it. Ours is a 1 3, theirs is a 3 1. <laughs> yeah, Ours really is a great is. card, theirs is a terrible card. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, so sorry, did, did they just get a land? Uh, yeah, okay. Cool. I think so. Yeah, you have, to, on Cash Grab, you have to get something milled from it, right? Yeah, it's not, it, uh, unlike Say Its Name. Or opponents playing a lot of Siege Rhine and Shieldred. That is true. Oh, and I understand uh -oh. they could overlord back Kutzel's Flanker, but I'm not scared of that. Um, okay, let's consider in response. Nice, nice, nice. I'm glad we have this Prismari command, Greg. Hold on. I'm going to have to mute you for a second. I made the mistake of forgetting to charge my headphones, and so... I have to do the awkward switch out headphone ga gambit. Although, oh no, is the case not charged? Uh-oh, hold on. I might need to get some old school headphones. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay. <laughs> well, chat, well, Greg is gone. We'll just continue kind of systematically demolishing our opponent here. Yeah, it's definitely hard to say whether we'll be able to win this game without his assistance, you know? I 
I don't know about you, <laughs> but I'm feeling treasure cruise. <laughs> uh, oh, profs? Don't mind if I do. Mm -mm. Mm. Okay, nice. Hopefully that didn't affect my audio at all. Your audio sounds the same to me. Nice. To me, you sound a lot more robotic, but that's just because I'm using crappy headphones. Okay, I'll keep that in mind. Yeah. Mm -mm. I'm planning to make a lot of decisions according to the fact that I sound more robotic than Greg. <laughs> nice. Does, any, does everyone else just have a ginormous drawer of headphones that you got for free on Delta flights on your way to and from Magic tournaments? Because I sure do. Greg, I can answer that question. No. Hmm. Do you throw them away or do you not get them? Mm -mm. Nice. See, chat's on my side. You just said it was like that was like some sort of normal thing. I don't know. I don't think it's that normal a thing. I mean, oh, I think maybe dead? some people do. Yeah. Oh, I I never buy them on a plane. You just a lot of times get them for free. You do often get them for free. That, he he is right about that. Although to be fair, occasionally I have had to buy them because like I just bring my Bluetooth headphones on the plane, and then I forget that if I want to watch movies, I need their headphones. I think this is like probably lethal. Yeah. I didn't, I didn't, you know, like, do the math or anything. Nice. Mm -mm. You've never once been given free headphones in your life? Wow. You're just... What do you put in your free headphone drawer? All right, Greg, I'm upping it to three buys. <laughs> to play Grease Fang? Yeah, that was, that was not a good showing. We're, we're, <laughs> we're, was... we're three buys now. It was a really bad showing, I agree. <laughs> it sort of seems like our opponent could never win in a million years. Yeah. Man, when Phoenix gets to be reactive, it's so good. Well, I mean, isn't that in almost every matchup it gets to be reactive? Sometimes you have to, like, dig for lands and do stuff on your turn, you know? Well, and, yeah. like, you don't have much going on, so you, like, have to do an earlier Phoenix turn. Like, that's fair. It's not, like, extremely common, though. Yeah. Okay, well, I hope kill spells are good against their deck. Yeah. They were last seen playing Gruul Aggro 19 days ago, so we don't really know. Okay. Like but that's a pretty good a good uh, thing. You get free headphones on some airlines. Some Depends how fancy the airline is, to be honest. Yeah, but Delta's great. Yeah. It's sort of the luxury airline of normal airlines, if you will. Yeah, it is true that the, the the airline that unofficially sponsors me, Spirit Airlines, does does in fact not offer any anything. Yeah, but you do get uh -oh, you, I... you do get nothing and like it. Yeah. <laughs> That's the spirit difference. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but have you considered that? Spirit is incredibly affordable. Have you considered that's how they keep the, their, those low prices low? <laughs> mm -mm. I'm pretty sure I've also never paid a, paid a fee with with Spirit. Yeah, if you're if you're if you're play, if you're flying Spirit, it's sort of an in for a penny in for a pound thing. You just commit, you know. Yeah. Mm -mm. <laughs> Spirit in the room with us. Is a great comment. I want to state, by the way, I've no idea we're playing it, but we'll figure it out. Um, I think it's like un unplayable blue black control. Hmm. Well, our hand is developed quite poorly against unplayable black control. Yeah. The last time I played Maze Mind Tome, I was asked by my, my opponent if I knew that Reckoner Bankbuster was legal in Pioneer. <laughs> 
because it had just been banned in standard and they were like you know it wasn't banned in pioneer right and i was like yeah i know i chose baseline to tell them. <laughs> <laughs> how would you say you're putting react to that information they were like okay <laughs> uh oh wow uh, well okay i have good news about this nar set yeah the only card our hand is good against we can't remotely cast yeah any fourth lands off the top, perhaps? Nice. nice. Greg, 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 do you want to do the thing? Yeah, doctor. Very nice, very nice. <laughs> I like Greg take this one. He deserves it. Thanks. Mm -hmm. I hope everyone... By the way, I'm just going to announce to everyone in the chat right now that if you play me at the RC, I am going to do that at the table. And it's going to be, like, <laughs> pretty obnoxious. So I just thought you should know in advance. <laughs> Why are they scrying with their face my what, what do you mean? You, you mean scry for game for life is not a good card, Greg? They get four scries and four life. It's so much numbers. Mm. Okay, Dan. Yeah, I'll, I'll let I'll let you take care of it. Yeah, that 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 sounds logical. I mean, if, look, if you want to scry a bunch for not very very much mana, I have a great magic card for you. Also, I'm double attacking Narset to be clear. Yeah, I love that. <laughs> Corey, that's fair. <laughs> It's okay, we'll just all, when Andrew's, like, in the match to win the tournament, we'll just, like, all come in to chat and make snare thopter noises. <laughs> <laughs> wow, look at their nice three mana game nine link, too. Hey! Harrian, thanks for the raid. Welcome to the stream. Anyone coming over from Harrian's stream? We're systematic. It's the last stream before US regionals this weekend. And so we're getting ready. Yeah, I think I'm going to do nothing. OK. Are you familiar with the classic saying, nothing is scarier, Greg? Because that's what I'm doing. I mean, wise minds have said that when Phoenix gets to be reactive, it's really good. So. That is true. I've heard some incredibly wise minds say that. Yeah. Wow. I thought that they were finally going to use their Maze Lightning Draw card, but no. <laughs> it's not time for that. It's time to bounce Phoenix post combat. Great question about today's candle sponsor. The sp candle sponsor of today's stream is this lovely rainwater lily candle with notes of bergamot and lotus from Target's Threshold Collection. As always, we're sponsored unofficially by the discount candle section at Target. And uh, if you ever want to know the candle of the day, you can just ask, and we'll tell you about it. Okay, well, I'm going to bounce Narset in response to this day's undoing. Oh, that seems pretty good. Wait, wait, wait. do you want to pick lock first? Sure. I mean, I'm gonna definitely going to do both, so. Right, because if we find Spell Pierce, I think I'd rather just do that. Yeah, How I much for the I candle would. at Target? It's, like, very little. Okay, we did not find Spell Pierce. Okay, so this won't matter because these cards go away yeah this, this is I, I mean well I, yeah i guess it's just irrelevant yeah for today we are not in the same room we'll be back together into the same room uh soon maybe this was bad because it it, it denies me the option to play a redrawn um yeah thing oh how much for my candle that's like 70 percent empty uh, look, if you come to my apartment, you can have it. <laughs> oh, I guess the turn does end. That? That's true. Wait, the turn does end. So, so never mind. This was, this oh, was good. yeah. Okay, okay. And we also got a thing on the adventure that that kind of like skirts by what they did. Oh, true. Yeah. Um. <laughs> I'm coming fifty people at Greg's apartment <laughs> for this one. <laughs> <laughs> medium target candle that's 70% full. <laughs> I do love a nice medium target candle that's 70% full. Also, to be clear, I'm just leaving everything up here. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not in a rush at all. Oh, yeah. 
I mean, I don't know if um, Target still sells this candle. They they switch up their candles quite a lot. And okay, yeah, notably it's fall. And look, I know I'm unofficially sponsored, so I shouldn't bad mouth, bad mouth Target, but their fall candles suck. It's the it's their worst candle season. Okay, this is fine. Yep. By the way, I, I want to officially start some sort of poll. What do you think they're going to use this fourth page counter? <laughs> <laughs> it's such a good question. Jace reawakened. This seems yeah. fine, I guess. I agree. I'm not going to go spell piercing that. <laughs> Coming to my apartment candle shop. <laughs> We're in the one O bracket, right? We are, yes. Deduce. Uh, De all right. <laughs> Deduce. <laughs> well, I'm going to consider now. Yeah, you can do one. I can do so one. Do, yeah. That's good. Let's stop that. Yep. And then I guess let's play another Arc Light Phoenix and do some attacking. I like that. Mm -hmm. Now, as far I as just... our attacking here, I I think we probably want to kill the Jays. I think they're worth killing. Oh, really? And leaving the Narset around? I guess that makes some sense. Yeah. I'm just worried about them untapped days undoing. Like, oh, that's a concern. Yeah, maybe we just kill the Narset. I want to kill the Narset. Maybe if that's true, I shouldn't have played Phoenix, but it's, God, it's so much better to play than just play Opt. Wait, except we... Oh, wait, that doesn't even work. Never mind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right. Yeah. Okay, Narset down. And I have two Spell Pierce backup, so they can't really stop this. Okay, but they're going to Scry. <laughs> I just want to bring up that they're scrying again. Yeah, I mean that's good. If they don't use their two mana, I'm gonna <laughs> I'm gonna riot. <laughs> okay, they're they're fatal pushing the big phoenix. I'm gonna spell pierce that I think. I like that. I mean, I don't notably, they have like eight mana. These spell pierces aren't gonna be that good. Right, right, right. I'm I'm kind of at fire them off at anything mode. Oh, I see. They needed to trigger revolt. Oh, that makes. That's sense. why that my tome is so good. All right. Well. <laughs> in for a penny, in for a pound. And I like that if they days and doing or whatever, I just still have two fairies on an adventure. That's true. Also, I have Hall of Storm Giants. Yeah. We we've got a fair amount of gas rolled up now if if, if something bad happens. Oh yeah. And one of the things I'm definitely worried about is I assume their deck plays the the, the, the Collect Evidence Wrath, which oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. does exile all your phoenixes. Now, that that's not devastating to us in the current state of the world. But yeah. it, is, it is, like, a little scary. Mm -mm. Archfiend? Uh-oh. Wait, do they have the combo? No. They just played Archfiend. Okay, um, well, I guess I'm going to do some biz. Yeah, I like biz. The Fae have been in prison too long, Greg. Too long. Yeah. Mm -mm. Second props. That seems baddish. I agree. That seems goodish. It does seem good, yeah. I mean, it is a very good combo with props, certainly. Yes. Lightning Axe. Okay, that's very good, too. Yep. Mm -mm. And... Wait, so how many cards do I draw on this turn? Kind of a lot, right? Because uh, I have Artist Talented Opted Opted, is that right? So I've drawn three. 
Uh, yeah. So, I guess I want to make my Phoenix six power and attack Jace. I think I like that. Mm -mm. Oh, we can level three the artist talent so that Axe kills the Archfiend. We can do that. It is an option. Nice. And I guess, yeah, I think I'd rather leave. I think this stays on D. I think that makes sense. Yeah. Par partially because I also don't like really want to tip our hand, as it were. Yeah. Each opponent sacrifices a non-tone creature. All right, I'll, I'll sacrifice the untapped one. Yeah. That's fair. You got us. <clears throat> it's just that with cross and talent in play, every creature I play is going to be a terrifying threat. Yeah. I also like that if they daze undoing, it means it puts us farther from decking. Yeah. Fair. A really important fact I, I need to bring up. <clears throat> It's possible that if I lose this deck, I have to quit Magic Forever and Leaf. Yeah, I mean, anything's possible. <laughs> also, I, I'm going to propose a deranged line if they just pass here. Which is that I think it might be right to just, like, not consider. Days and doing. Okay, so I guess, is there any reason to consider here? Uh... It seems like I can't it, think of one. It seems like it doesn't matter. Yeah. Okay. It's the Archfiend combo deck with, with Narset? I mean, maybe. I've certainly never seen that before. But it's conceivable. Let's make a really... Let's make some large shredders, shall we? Yeah, okay. Notably, Jace can ult, which is a little scary. Well, that is scary, but, like, what do you want me to do about it? Well, I don't know. Okay. I mean, I guess I could fire up the hall and just, like, try to kill the Jace, but that doesn't seem very good to no, me. No, that seems really bad. Okay, play Ledger Shredder. Oh, okay. Um, I I kind of like the idea of bouncing it. I think we should bounce it, yeah. Okay, um, I'm going to do that on their turn, I think. Okay, like in their upkeep? Yeah. Okay. Well, I guess... I think so. maybe I should do it now to get the extra counter. Oh. Okay, I, I think now makes sense. Have we even seen any counter spells? Oh well, no, but they might have some. Sure. And I'll just discard second lightning axe, I think. I think I, I still believe in spell pierce, but it's okay. not obvious. Maybe I should discard spell pierce. No, I believe in it. Okay. Yeah, I'm sorry that Greg's face is over the Jace. Oh yeah, that's true. Sometimes Greg's face is just over stuff, you know? I'll just hold up how many loyalty counters it has. Nice. Love that for you. <laughs> has Jace done anything so far? No. Great question. Whoa, 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 I assume it... it plotted a thing that was important and relevant to the game state. Uh huh. That's Greg is opponent. No, I'm not the opponent. I'm representing Jace real weekend. <laughs> there's Jace reawakened. Yeah, it's hidden under my face. Jace is here, and there's a clue token here. But yeah, I don't know what I can. I don't know. How, like, I don't know what I should do to fix it. I think this one can resolve. Thoughts? Yeah, it's Most, a deduce. 
mostly I don't want to counter the deduce because I want to be able to lightning axe things. <laughs> uh, I hope they ult it so I can put my fingers down. <laughs> Extinction event. Uh, okay. Oh god. Well, that's scary. I mean, it's scary. I think it'll probably be okay, but maybe it won't be. Duress. Um, okay, Duress is fine. Yeah. I presume they'll take Treasure Cruise, but I don't know. This game doesn't look okay to you? I think it's gonna be okay. I don't know. It does have... seem like we're losing badly, but... I don't think we're losing ba badly. I think we're merely losing. Like... Yeah. Because... I can just... the hall, I can fire up the hall and make it enormous. I have three birds on suspend, you know? Yeah. Like, I don't know. The exiled bulky. Uh, how does this work? Uh, not the good way. Okay, you're confident of that? Yes. Should I consider now? I think no. Okay, I agree. Maybe that's crazy. Do you think it's crazy? I think maybe you should do it. Yeah, okay. And discard the Smell Pierce. Yeah. Arc Light Kings. Okay, that's good. Okay, I'll, t I'll keep Opt. Great. Yeah. Now, here's a crazy line to discuss. So, we could just play the Phoenix. Like, from our hand. Yeah. So that it, it kind gets of... the props counters. Okay, it kind of seems like we need to, like, start hitting their life token. Oh, I guess you're saying Phoenix is a better way to do that than Hall. I, like, kind of want to do Sam's line of whack him with Hall, and if they fatal push, we can spell Pierce it. I don't like that I can't put any counters in the Hall if I do that. Sorry, Jace is still at seven. <laughs> it's kind of exhausting to leave up all my fingers, but I guess I'm committed to the bit. <laughs> like, I'm not even sure I can hit them. I, I sort of think I might need to kill the Jace. I no, I mean, I think I think they're about to make it a, a Tibble, right? Like, yeah, I think the Jace doesn't matter anymore. I guess they're gonna make two Tibbles, but that doesn't even do anything, right? Well, wait, that that doesn't work, right? Nope, that works. Whenever you that's, cast I mean, that's that's the whole point of the Jace card, but two Tibbles doesn't do anything because it's legendary. Hmm. Yeah, maybe I should just hit them for half their life total. Okay, and if they have Hall, then we'll lose. If they have what? Sorry, if they have e Edict. This is such a bad line. I'm not that desperate. Okay, fine. You can play Phoenix and do some stuff. I mean, I don't know. I have, like, a lot of guys and a lot of ways to make them bigger. Yeah. I, I just think we can win. I'm, I want to play Phoenix. Okay. But... Basically, I just think you guys are all playing prosing lines like we're really desperate, and, and the way I feel is that I'm not that desperate. No, I, I don't think I am. I have artist talent and profs, and like three creatures on suspend. Like, I don't know. Is that like a lot of good stuff? Mm -mm. How many spells have I cast so far? Uh, Two. Cast Op, cast Free the Fey. Awkward. So I can either get my props counters or I can get three phoenixes. I guess I pick three phoenixes. Yeah, I think so. Okay.
And you want me to just like hit them for nine? I do, yeah. Yeah, that seems reasonable. This is such a weird deck. They like try and out card advantage you, fail, but then days undoing to restart. And then they failed again, and then they days undoing to restart. And then the third time they did it. That is that is sort of what's happening, yes. It does feel like we should have won a best two out of three, though. Oh wow, did they have the edict? Wow. Hall I, Hall Hall Believers in shambles right now. I just like I just think you guys are like really scared, and I'm just not that scared. Like, I sort of want to check the Jace, too, because I'm just not sure we're not winning. Like, I'm not living in the world where we're behind, is kind of what I, how I would describe the situation. Yeah. But that might be wrong. It's just like, I don't know, they're down to two cards in hand. I get they have some clues and stuff, but, like, I'm just going to kill them. I have profs and artist talent. Yeah. When you get Tybalt... Is, is Tybalt okay. going to beat me? Doesn't it draw you, like, four cards a turn or something? I mean, it's not going to live through the turn, is it? I mean, maybe it is, I guess. It's really not self-evidently living through the turn. Yeah, <laughs> I do agree with the statement, being able to not tip off is an important skill I possess. Wow, I'm now hiding so many permanents. Okay, Jace is up to eight. <laughs> we need the devil again. <laughs> I don't have that many hands. <laughs> Okay, they now have Narset too. The Narset does make things yeah. harder. Okay, well, the Tybalt is at two, the Narset's at three, and the Jace is at eight. Yeah, the, the Wait, Narset... can you see the... Is, is Jace visible yet? Greg's traps Jace, are going to be Jace iron. Jace is visible. It's such a good comment. Yeah, but they can't see how many counters on it. It's just out of view. Can you open the game lock? Why? <laughs> Then they'll be able to see everything. Oh, nice. And then I can put my hands down. <laughs> okay, I opened the game log. Wow. So, okay, they're activating Gaia Reach Sanitarium, and I think I should, which will, which will cause me not to, to lose my card forever. And I'm, yeah. And I think I should pick lock in response, but artist talents are me. Yeah, that, that, that part's no problem. Um,. I guess I maybe could not do this. If I do in response, the point is that this could be a Phoenix turn, but I guess it's kind of hard. Because, right, like, because I could do this into a cantrip which I could cast, but then I don't know what I could do. Well, I guess I could just, no, no, wait. Yeah, it would work. I do this into a cantrip. That cantrip draws a card because it's my upkeep. Then I cast another mm -hmm. cantrip, then the Phoenix come back. Right? Okay. Yeah. I think that's better than firing up the hall. Okay, I agree. Treasure cruise. Unfortunate. All right, then. I lose treasure cruise. Mm hmm Yeah, I'm definitely not feeling treasure cruise. Okay, let's play some assorted small creatures. I guess I probably want to play just a bunch of pick locks. It could be brazen bar. Yeah, I, I think a bunch of pick locks seems good. Okay, bunch of pick locks engage. How many counters are on the Narset? Oh no, you can't see it. Okay, I'll be Narset for a while. It's three. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry for this ridiculous game state chat, but I refuse to apologize for showing you such a great game of magic. You just said sorry. You can't say sorry, I refuse to apologize. No, I'm. that's what I'm saying. What do you have against me being sorry for not refusing to apologize? Mm. Oh, you're sorry that... I'm you sorry that I refuse to apologize. Uh, 
okay, it's, it's certainly grammatically sound. <laughs> it might not be like logically sound. Oh yeah, you could make the log huge to match me, but this is this is the this is the viewing experience they all want. Okay. Oh, sorry, Nars and F did it. <laughs> Wait, why? Why do they have a red land? Oh, for casting Tibble stuff. Yeah, it's a classic for casting Tibble Dangle. <laughs> I really enjoyed the segment of the stream where we were like, show the game log. That, that, that was a nice segment. Okay, at this point, I do think I'm going to lose the game, though. Okay. Like, the fact that they can prevent me from ever drawing a card again is a small downside, I would say. Yeah. I think I'm ready to go to the next one. Also, is it this game one? Yeah, definitely the clock is a bit of a concern. Yeah. Mm -mm. All right, narset has gone. I mostly got Andrew to concede so I could put my hands down. Yeah, that's reasonable. All right, let's board these in. Let's board these in. We might want Prismari Command to hit Planeswalkers. Let's cut, like, all our removal. They might have some sort of sideboard bead threat, but I, I don't know. I'm just going to leave in Brazy to yeah. for it and, and not worry about it for now. I think that's a good idea. Also, I think they're not playing the Archfiend combo. I think they're just playing Archfiend as a fair card. <laughs> oh, I guess Archfiend... <laughs> Excuse me, sorry. Plus. Is a reason to leave in some sort of creature removal, but... It's so bad, <laughs> Make though. Craig's camera bigger, cover more stream. No, but I'll just stretch my arms out. That'll probably that'll make me look bigger, you know. Wait, why am I doing that? My arms hurt <laughs> from too much holding up my fingers. <laughs> um, what is happening right now? Is my moto lagged out or something? Wow. This is a really bad time to be like that. <laughs> Rest while you can is right. If I if I relog, I, I don't think I'm gonna be able to uh That worked. Okay, but this doesn't work. I think Moto's just advising you to not cut the lightning axe. <laughs> um I mean I really need to cut these lightning axe. Mm-hmm. <laughs> the fact that I cut the talent is Oh, wait, that worked? Okay. Maybe if you just click on it, nope. rather than dragging it. <laughs> oh, it's a visual bug. Is it a visual bug? It seems like it's a real bug. The card count reflects that they're in my deck. Uh... Wait, it says 1463, so it doesn't, right? 14 plus 63 is too, too high. Okay, so what do I, like, do? I think the axes are not in your deck. I think you should act according. Okay, then I said to put out one more card, which I guess is, like, probably an Arclight no, deck or something. No, two more cards, right? It uh, says sideboard 14 because there are two axes in it. Okay, but then, so I need to cut one more card because four, 14 is... No. Oh. What do you mean? Whoa, wait. Wait, that's confusing because the main deck is 63. Okay, I have no idea what it is. Okay, I'm undisciplinedly cutting a slide of hand and seeing if we have 62, you know? Okay. It's 60. Okay, nice. I guess it worked. Okay. Yep, it worked. Mm -mm. And oh, yeah. could you not? So see the it's, it's very dangerous to. Re I have to this. It's very dangerous to restart <laughs> Moto and sideboarding because uh -huh. often it will not let you sideboard when you come back. If you were a visual fuck, what fuck would you be? Is a great question. Mm. <laughs> yeah, this is, I think it's just a well understood phenomenon among Moto players. I would be a firefly, I think. Fireflies are a very visual bug. Okay. <laughs> You'd be a sand flea. Sand fleas are famously pretty hard to see, right? Because they 
they they blend in with the sand. Ah, uh, Dan's suggestion, log out of Moto, go do something else. Take the L. <laughs> mm -mm. Hmm. Here's what I have to say about artist talent. Remember at the top of the stream how I talked about every time we try to play new cards in Phoenix, they end up being bad and we end up cutting them? Yeah for all other cards yeah that's all i just thought i should remind everyone of are, how that are conversation you saying we should cut artist talent greg if you're gonna if you're if you want to say that you got to say it you can't just imply mm, it. no i i'll imply it thank you very much You can hide cards behind me, and then I'll start reenacting them. Duress is pretty fun. It's like, ah! Ghost vacuum, huh? <laughs> ghost vacuum resolves. Oh, ghost vacuum. I got owned by this card in Sealed today. It's very good in Sealed. Okay. I predict it's not, not good in Draft, but it's quite good in Sealed. Yeah, I mean, I don't think the Draft form is that fast. It might be okay, but it doesn't seem, like, awesome or anything. Oh, it's good in Draft? Okay. Okay, never mind. It's good in draft. Yeah. I'm going to play Ledger Shredder, I think. God, if they play Narset, it's so bad. I'll just pass. You know what? God, is that is that unhinged? I think it's hinged. What do you think? Uh... Why is it bad if they play Narset? Well, they'll have a Narset. <laughs> yeah, we'll have a... Yeah, okay, fine. You're right. Um, I think we just pass. I think it's fine. I mean, it's not that fine because I have no lands, but... Yeah. This line is bad if they play land. Eh, I'm not that worried. I'm just going to cast my free to pay. If they counter it, they counter it. That's my plan. Oh, that's definitely a W. I'm also jealous. Wow. Great draw, I assume. Yeah, it's not my fault that some people in chat just don't have the vision to just pass the turn there. <laughs> You've got to be a you got to be a real artist to do to do to make a play like that. You know what I'm saying? Mm -mm. Yeah, I think that Drake is just going to be an uh, a vanilla uh, one one. <laughs> um. Fun fact, I've played in a very competitive curling tournament in my life. Greg has just described it often as one of the most competitive tournaments he's ever played. It, uh, it might have been. Uh-huh. Do you have to say you're casting free the fate? Glad you asked, Tristan. No. Yes. Am I the skip? No, I'm the I'm I'm the leadoff. I always shoot first on my curling teams. Mm -mm. By the way, Greg, if you want to discuss strategy again, we can, but I'm just sort of vibing at the moment. No, it's fine. It's because when we learned curling, um, me and my three teammates, none of us could get it in the circle, but I consistently undershot it, and all three of my teammates consistently overshot it. And here's the thing, undershooting it is actually much better because then the thing lands in play, and the goal of the person who shoots first in curling is to intentionally undershoot it. So since I was undershooting it already, Everyone was like, Greg, why don't we put you in charge of being the undershoot guy, and then we'll all get better at aiming and restraining ourselves. And I was like, sure, great plan. Um, and then I did exactly that. I was very consistent. It was very ruthless. Um, but, but I got really good at being the opening in curl. Okay, not like casual recreation league level really good, you know? I could he consistently says really good, he doesn't like mean really good, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. 
<laughs> it's really good like like you know how someone like foros all their pre-releases and then it's like i'm really or like three ones all their pre-releases and i'm like i'm really good at sealed it's kind of like that I was told when I was learning curling, which I think is pretty funny, they were like, because I was like 28 at the time, and they were like, look, like, you know, in most sports, if you want to be like really, really good, the fact that you're 28, it's like too late. But like, if you and your friends are really committed to curling, like, you could probably be one of the top teams still. It's not too late. <laughs> Tasks failed successfully. Yes, in curling, if you undershoot it, it is occasionally failing your task successfully. Sure. I think I'm going to need to bounce this ghost vacuum. <laughs> it has too many I ghosts mean, inside it. Like, most of the things aren't creatures, though, right? No, there's a lot of creatures. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I'll dispute this. I don't really want it to happen. Yeah, me neither. I mean, I know it does nothing, but I think even nothing is too much. <laughs> mm, okay, I'll just beat again. Yeah. <laughs> like, Greg, there's Crackling Drake and Ledger Shredder and... I don't know. Oh, wait, okay. Much Ooh. better way to bounce it. Nice. Yeah. So I'm just gonna play Arc Lightning's attack. I can cast the Brazen Bee later. They're only they don't have a lot of lands right now. And if yeah. they kill the Arc Lightning's, I can then bounce it. I think. Uh, uh, the exile mode can be used as an instant, but the other mode can be used only as a sorcerer. Okay, that that's what I'm saying. The other mode costs six. They yeah. have four lands. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Thought sees negated. Yeah. I mean, maybe I should just bounce this main phase. Okay, that doesn't seem good. Let's just pass. Okay, I agree. <laughs> Do we have any advice for being frustrated in testing? Uh, I don't know. Take a break. <laughs> don't yeah. over-test. Keep in mind that magic is a hobby you play for fun and you don't have to like, you know, you're not like obligated to jam 80 bajillion games before a tournament. That just isn't, isn't how magic is. And instead of watching TV, may I suggest watching the system magic Twitch stream? Remind them that the best way to test for any tournament is to sit back, relax and watch the system magic Twitch stream. Me too. That's why I'm not at Andrew's house. I'm too stressed. So I had to sit back, relax, and watch Andrew play. <laughs> this is certainly one of our most nonsense intensive streams lately. <laughs> but, but, but yeah, but basically just like, I don't know. And I, yeah, just, I generally think like, it's okay to like take a tournament lightly. Not every tournament is that important. Like, it, you just don't have to go all the time. And now, look, like, if you if you have some big goals in Magic, like, you really want to, like, hmm, maybe I shouldn't have bounced Ghost Vacuum. I guess this is a punish. Uh, since they'd just be dead right now if I hadn't. Well, it is what it is, I guess. I'm pretty sure every single one of your streams is nonsense. Yeah. Upkeep scry. All right. God, I can't. I can't. This maze my tome is breaking me. I, I just can't. Clock is looking a little rough. Nah, it's, it's no problem. Nah, don't worry about it. 
Who's up scrying for? Yeah. <laughs> v. Walter gets it. <laughs> okay, they transform Temple of the Dead. Does transforming Temple of the Dead um, trigger revolt? No, I don't think so. I think it just transforms while still in play. Yeah. Okay, well, I'm going to attack for nine. It's not an incredibly well thought out plan because they can gain four at the Maze Mind Tome, but it seems like what I could do. Mm, they can gain four in a couple different ways, actually. Well, yes, I understand that. So after we, like, I don't know, lose a bunch of streams in a row with Phoenix, are you going to audible? No. Hmm. Go to deck. But what, if, what about Akrak combo, though? Yeah, many, many have said Akrak combo is really what I should be playing. Also, I think I may have beat this game, too, to be honest. By bouncing the Ghost Vacuum? Yeah, maybe I shouldn't have bounced the Ghost Vacuum. I didn't really need to. I just worried I would try to bounce it yeah. two turns and it wouldn't resolve. But maybe that was, like, an idle fear. Isn't, though, part of the sell of Phoenix is that it's good against nonsense? Well, I think it mostly is. But... Yeah, I guess I cannot attack into this thing, really. <laughs> oh, Togetian, unfortunately, I'm being sarcastic. Yeah. It's fine. I'll let, I'll let everyone know how many cards are under, uh, are under Ghost Vacuum. It's two. Sam, I think it's pretty bad to play my land here. Well, I guess they can see it. If I don't play the land, I give them a card. But otherwise, you give them a bat? Yeah, like, isn't a card better than a bat? I don't know. <laughs> like, look, I definitely... <laughs> we haven't dis we've definitely discussed, you know, my flaws as a Magic player, some on this stream... I would say uh -huh. having in my life read the card Aklazots is not one of my, my weaknesses. <laughs> I have in my life read the card. Yeah, I definitely might be in reverse garbage time. Yeah. Is Blue Black Days Undoing really an anti-Phoenix deck? <laughs> well, I don't think so, but I think I may have punted this game. I may have punted both games, actually. But I don't know. Mm -mm. So reverse garbage time is a great description of the game state. Honestly, I really like reverse garbage time. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna block this thing. Well, then they get to flip the other. Oh, I but see. Then it's okay, tapped. That makes sense. Oh, Narset. Oh, sorry, Narset went down to one. <laughs> it's not a perfect play, I wouldn't say. I mean, but then it's tapped. It was already tapped. <laughs> it, it's not a perfect play, Greg. Oh yeah, and they get to eat a phoenix. Maybe I shouldn't have done this. Yeah, maybe I shouldn't have blocked. God, it's, it's all really bad. All right, all right, all right. I'm defeated. Yeah. All right, all right, Greg. All right. Let's... Okay, one more. Well, yeah, I, man, I definitely beefed that game. I'm not sure if I beefed game one. That game I definitely beefed. Game was yeah, very Boros, complicated, so I'm not sure where... boss gets it. But... Last seen playing red-green, oh, 12 days ago. Hmm.
Okay, well, they're playing blue white control, presumably. Ah. So we should mulligan. I guess it could be enigmatic, too. I should not conclude it. Yeah. Control. Yeah. Uh, but I don't know if we should mulligan. I mean, do you, is this a mulligan? It's kind okay, of we good. can keep. I guess it's good. I mean, it, uh, it has two red cards in it, but yeah. all other aspects of it are good. Uh, and if it's enigmatic, my red cards aren't even, like, dead, even if they're not great. Okay, we can keep. I think I should keep, but not, like, I'm happy about it. Well, yeah, it, see, it doesn't really make sense to maybe put between 60 and 80 Phoenix. <laughs> I'll level with you. It's not if, you, if you're if you're gonna if you're gonna do it, you gotta go all the way, or else you don't get a companion. Yeah, so this is this is yeah. enigmatic. It appears. Okay. Nice. Yeah, I stand by keeping this. I think. I mean, it's not the perfect hand. Tristan, I think if you're going to say that, do I top or bottom the opt, do you think? I want land three, but I kind of want opt. I think we should bottom it, but... Yeah, okay, fine. Wow, Greg, should have topped it, honestly. I mean, should we have? <laughs> mm -mm. I mean, obviously not, but I did want to propose Still... that we should have. Still would have drawn all those cards. Yeah, I mean, maybe... Hmm. I could have not played the Lip Shredder to try to get the Kanai, but the problem is to do that, they need to play a creature and... It's, it's, just, it's just not going to happen, is the thing. Like, they have to play a thing. I get, like, I guess yeah. they could have they could have Skyclaved my profs. I don't know. I think I stand by what I did. Oh. Let's kill their thing, get a token, and put a counter on it. Oh, nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I guess I could wow. Lightning Axe in order to discard a card, but that seems wrong-ish. Yeah. I feel like I'll get more things to discard cards my Lightning Axe, too. Oh, no. I mean, that's sort of good in the sense that it puts a card in our graveyard and gives us a target for our removal spells. I guess that's true. Yeah, okay, great. Ledger Shredder killed their guy. Nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I do appreciate that D Dan ha ha just has this this number of Yorians conversation like six times a day. And he's not tired of it. I'll discard Second Treasure Cruise. Okay, I agree. It could be Axe, but... I think second treasure cruise is right. I don't think it's supposed to be axe, but that's not like insane. I I'm too afraid of ra random biz. Yeah, I'm afraid of random biz indeed. Like, what if they just like play an overlord? You know. Yeah, that is my concern. Notably, the green overlord costs five. Yeah. So it's a pretty plausible card to then play here. <gasps> Blinker. All right. Well, that <laughs> this is the first time in history Kuz Blinker's ever done anything. Although, <laughs> I still don't know if it's, like, great or whatever. High Noon? Okay, well, luckily our hand is pretty good against High Noon. Yeah. Mm -mm. Oh, Brazy Bee? Don't mind if I do. Brazy Bee seems great, yeah. Mm -mm. And I don't think I need to trade this token off just yet. Let's attack for three. Okay. Like, if they attack with Kutzels, I think I'm going to take the hit. Yeah, agreed. Mm -mm. So, wait, I think we discussed people to this question, actually. If you if you, if you you only get a half Yorian, it's it's a 2-3, and it, it doesn't fly, but it has reach. And when it enters, you can blink one thing. <laughs> reach is funny. <laughs> It ha Greg, that's just what it does. Yeah. 
Uh, I guess I don't know what I should discard Zax. Maybe I shouldn't cast it. I think you shouldn't cast it. Okay, so I should just untap? I think so. Okay. Well, I could discard that the axe, but I, I also could just cast it and attack. Now, if I do that, there's a small problem that I'm tapped out of spell pierce for the enigmatic next turn. But I guess Didn't that's actually, actually a large problem. Yeah. I mean, what three are they going to get that we're afraid of? I'm afraid of Leyline Binding into Enigmatic. Oh, sure. Right. I mean, notably, if they draw a land, they just still get to do that. That's true, but they didn't have a land last turn, and they left up all five mana and didn't buy Yorian. It's okay. There's a secret card behind me. It's High Noon. Yeah, I'm just going to attack. Okay. I think that's what I should do. Yeah, it's that's true. I could bounce the enigmatic too. Yeah, it, it's. Yeah. I think just hitting them is good. Oh, maybe I shouldn't trade off this turn. I guess that didn't really make sense. Okay. Okay. Well, this is what I anticipated. Um. So this resolves, and we target the ledger shredder. Is the plan? So I could bounce that in response to all this, and I can't recast this turn. Yeah. Is that good? I guess it doesn't seem very good, does it? Not really. I think it just happens. Yeah. <clears throat> can we move the... Can we group Greg into the middle of the battlefield? Uh... <laughs> It's not that easy to do. It's pretty easy, but, you know. Well, I have to, like, hold on. Don't actually do it. <laughs> I, think it's, I think it's hard to do. Yeah. Because, hmm. It's Leyline Binding. Do I do anything here? You would like me to represent it? <laughs> do you still have to drink if you forget I knew that Greg was coming? <laughs> it's a great question. <laughs> How many counters on Narset? None. That's why I have no fingers up. <laughs> mm -mm. I'll represent Leyline Binding. It's like a thing being, like, wrapped up, you know? It kind of looks like this. It does kind of look like that. <laughs> I mean, what's weird is we, we've just never, <laughs> never like, so had this issue something. before. Yeah. What I mean is, I feel like we've had guests a lot of times over the course of the stream's history, and it's usually been fine. It's um, definitely covered some stuff up, just people don't really comment. Ooh, glow sticks, that would be nice. Soaring sauna, my thing. Uh, that's fine. Now, the thing the thing about this is that the roaring furnace is no problem, but I am afraid of the soaring sauna in a few turns. Yeah, sauna. I'm not saying it that way. <laughs> I gotta love with you, Greg. <laughs> You gotta draw the line somewhere, Greg. This is my line. Okay, well, glad to know this is where it is. This is where it is. <laughs> oh, I just need to find the actual cards. I mean, I definitely own High Noon and Leyline Binding. I don't think I own the Sauna. N okay. Notably, I, I don't think I own a single IRL Duskmorn card. Yeah. I also think Rick doesn't own a single IRL Duskmorn card. Just I bought some when I was visiting my brother, but then I left them all at his house. I guess he bought them, actually. Okay, so I think it might be time for the Phoenix turn. Okay. So my plan here is, I think, to Brazy B, bounce the High Noon, EOT, pick block, untap, do bounce a, bit, a bunch of bits. I do have more IRL packs here than I do... Uh... 
than I do at Andrews. Like those two Bloomborough packs I won at the pre-release that I meant to bring to the stream room to crack, they're still here. I could go get them. Hmm. I don't know if I need another treasure cruise, although I admit I'm running low on treasure cruises. Uh, yeah. If I take the cruise, yeah, I should just take I should take pick luck. Okay. It's been like a week in the chaos dimension. How do I feel? I mean, chaotic, to be honest. All the ether gusting is really getting to me. It's a good way to feel in the chaos dimension. Oh my god, I can draw a spell. Oh no, it's fine, fine, it's fine. I can lightning axe my own thing. We're fine. Okay. Which thing? Oh, you can play up. A... I see. Oh, I'm not getting three Phoenix. Don't worry. <laughs> oh my god, what a game. Main deck high noon just 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 not a problem. Not a problem at all. Whatever. Alright, yeah. So Definitely want all these mystical disputes in against the deck. <laughs> Search protector, that's great. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, I like that it's you know the arc light phoenixes from the lightning axe. It kind of flavorfully makes sense, you know? Like this pixie came and like summoned some lightning, died in the process, but brought back many lightning phoenixes. <laughs> so I'm trying to remember what else I was cutting this matchup before. Oh, but I was definitely boarding in Drake's. Okay. And I was definitely trimming Phoenixes. And on trimming Phoenixes, I have a rule about this. If they have Planeswalkers to attack, you're only allowed to trim one. But if they don't, you could trim two. Okay. It's, it's a great rule. I think it makes a lot of sense. Yeah. Um, And then, I guess, before I was trimming my fourth slate, but now I've already trimmed it for Artist Talent. Do we think I should trim? Artist Talent, I guess, probably good against their High Noon deck. If it's yeah. ever good. Which it might not be. So, I'll trim sleight of hand um, again, even though two is probably illegal, but, you know, don't worry about it. Right. Oh, and then I was thinking about this before. I think it's possible that even though I have a third dispute, I might not board it in here. I think it might be worse than Gust and Negate. And I think I might that need a couple, a couple of lightning axes. Okay. That makes a lot of sense, I think. Yeah, I mean, certainly you could argue that you only need one lightning axe. I'm not exactly sure how many lightning axes are needed. But I'll have two for now. Is dispute worse than Pierce? Uh, yes. High noon. Defense rests. I guess we should bring in our sideboard Pierce, then. Oh, I think I did. Oh, you did. Okay. Didn't I? Yeah, I did. Oh, nice. Okay, okay, okay. How has artist talent been? Um... I think it's been bad. It hasn't been yeah. great. Okay, so this hand is not good. It might be a keep. The question we asked about this hand is, if we hit, is it good? Yeah. But I think it might oh. be. Yeah, I guess it might be, but we only have one cantrip. I'm pretty worried about missing. Yeah, I mean, one cantrip on the draw is, like, better than one cantrip on the play, worse than two cantrips on the, you know, on the play, right? Also, we, we notably O2 dropped a leak. This is our fifth match. Um, The blue actual match was very close to it. I think I might have punted game two. 
Oh, it's think... definitely not a snap keep. It's but we can keep. It's very close. Are we about to complete the 1 4 lock it in for the RC? No, it's called lock it in for the RC 1 4. We did it the other way around, you know? <laughs> nice. Thanks, Flat Eric. As always. God. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to keep this. You know what? I, I think it's right. I'm not sure. I think it's extremely close. And it might definitely might yeah. be a mulligan. But rather than perform the hours of calculations need to figure that out, I'm just going to keep it derangedly and hope it works. Uh -huh. mm -mm. See, one thing they don't tell you about the one cantrip hands is it means that if you don't find lands on the first cantrip, you can instead find a cantrip. <laughs> Oh, don't worry. It was not an earnest comment. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh. mm. Also, yeah, we have Anything Goes Fridays. That's what Anything Goes Fridays are. Yeah, I admit that hiding resolving while we have multiple pierces isn't isn't the best look, but uh -huh. it's okay. Chat, we're fine. Land? Any lands on the top? Do you think I have to slam artist talent? It's very dangerous. Yes. Uh... I mean, the alternative is I could free the Fey, and I could just hit Treasure Cruise, and then I'm kind of cooking. But if we slam artist talent and they have land untapped land enigmatic, we we do like immediately lose. Also, I think yeah. I might prefer this to be a sleight of hand here, which it could be. Oh, definitely. Um, okay, I guess I'm gonna slam talent. I want to slam talent for science. But yeah, it, it has it has not been good at all. I mean, it's definitely worse than Sleight of Hand here. It, it isn't, like, terrible here. Okay, I mean, Tap Land by Yorian is about the weakest turn I can imagine, so I do like that. All right, let's yeah. cast Light and discard Arc Light Phoenix, I think. Yeah. Scrybug. Okay, but we got a land, which is very good. Yes. I mean, now, now we're cooking... How many cards would Phoenix play nine copies of? Wait, Dan, I think there are a lot. Oh, so many. Like, how about Treasure <laughs> Cruise? How about Picklock, Cons Frank? Consider. I'm not consider? sure you play nine Treasure Cruises. Nine is so many. They're just, they're just like, slamming this? I mean, that seems fine, I think. Yeah. I, I, that's okay. Fine by me. Yeah, I guess, I guess nine, have nine is probably too is many the point, but... And I guess I'm going to bounce High Noon. It seems I think good. so. It's a little scary because I want to be sure to leave up Mystical Dispute for um, Yorian. Oh, that's true. Okay, maybe I should just free the Fae and wait till a better opportunity. Yeah, I, that's what I want to do. And discard Phoenix again? Yeah. Okay. Well, I like two Phoenix in the yard. That's for damn sure. Yeah. Okay, next turn is the turn, Greg. I agree. Um, Given the next turn is the turn... I'm going to play Spire Bluff. What else am I going to do? I guess I could just Treasure Cruise now, but I'll have to discard the hand size. I think maybe hold the Treasure Cruise, but... Well, but I want to cast a spell. 
Oh, why? That's a fair question, I guess. Okay, let's not. I mean, I guess if you want to cast a spell, it could be Pick Lock Prankster. Well, yeah, that is what I'm thinking about, but it's sort of dangerous. I agree that it's dangerous. Level up talent costs three. I'm not tapping out. Yeah. And it does nothing. Well, I'm not casting Cruise because I don't want to. I don't. I don't want to discard a hand size. Nothing is behind. Cruise. There's. There's nothing behind me. I mean, there's some like art and a fake plant. The candle is is over here, but it can go back to being behind me. Because I just have seven cards. I'm just gonna discard. Like, so I guess I go down to five. I guess I only start one to hand size. Maybe it's okay to cast Cruz. <laughs> no, that's a, you're lying to me. I can see them on the screen. <laughs> yeah, okay, maybe I should cast Cruz. If I cast Cruz, I think Tristan's maybe right, Greg. Okay. If I do this, I think I'm going to discard Spell Pierce. Oh, now you can't see them. Is that hinged? All right, there are three. Yeah, I think so. Greg, you don't have to do this. Nah, it's it's a good bit. Oh, they can see them again. I just wanted you to let you know that you didn't have to do it. Oh, I knew. Yeah, I am too proud to cast Sift. That, that, is, that is a true statement about me. Yeah. I mean, one mana Sift is quite good, though. I'm a little worried about us failing to um, get back Phoenixes. Oh, that concern is legitimate. I have some alternative plans, though. Yeah. Okay, let's counter this. What should I loot? Uh... It could just be land. Land. I think maybe it is land. I mean, I know that's weird. It could be Pierce also. No, yeah. Pierce is good. No, because we want to... Are we going to play the Crackling Drake next turn? Is that our plan? Well, I'm not sure. We could get rid of Crackling Drake. That's well, true. Well, that I think is hinged. Maybe okay, it's just maybe a it's... crackling drake. That kind of makes yeah, sense. Yeah, okay. I agree. Okay, well, we aren't go going anywhere, but the places we aren't going, we sure are going slowly. Um Yeah. <laughs> I mean, they're going somewhere. Cleveland? Um No, to the boiler works. Boiler virgins or whatever. Tristan, I think it might have been right, but I'm I'm not sure by any means. Um, okay, I have a deranged proposal. Play pick lock. Oh, level. Okay, I like it. I think level. Yeah. <laughs> How big is Overlord of the Boiler Burges? It's a five. It's a five, five. five. Okay, okay, okay. I mean, yeah. My current plan is that on my my Phoenix turn will be once I can lightning hex this Overlord. <laughs> <laughs> A really hinged and reasonable plan, if I do say so myself. Yeah. I like how hinged and reasonable it is. You guys talking about the spell pierce going dead. I knew the spell pierce was going to be good. And I'm here I'm going to discard nothing, I think. Uh, okay. I like that. I'm not discarding the gate, and you cannot make me. <laughs> Can I make you? No. Darn. No one can make me. <laughs> okay, so, so now, now we, can... we can treasure cruise, only delve six, but it costs one because of wait, the talent. Wait, wait. Are you sure this isn't our Phoenix turn? Oh. Wait, I guess this is this our This is an Phoenix insane turn. Phoenix turn. No, we just petty that the high noon yeah. and they get destroyed. Yeah. And I'll just loot nothing. Okay. Um, so yeah, I can delve six and do this. Is that, 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 that's true? Yep.
I mean, Artist Tale was definitely good that game, although I'm not sure it was meaningfully better than, like, Sleight of Hand. Still. Sleight of Hand. <laughs> Sleight of Hand would have just stopped Hynian from ever coming down in the first place, and we would have, I think, browned our opponent. But, yeah. like, given that Hynian did come down, this card was very good. But, yeah. anyways, well, I think Hynian is, okay, I sort of think Hynian is just not a very good card. I, I, I may have mentioned yeah. this. Anyways, that's going to be our last stream before the RC. Um, this is the deck that I'm playing the RC plus or minus artist talent here. I'll tell you, um, it's minus. Uh, so, um, yeah. Okay, a couple things before we close out today. First of all, we're going to be at the RC. If you're going to be at the RC, come say hi to us. We absolutely love meeting our chat and our fans. It's the best part of going to an RC. Um, we love meeting you all. Please come and say hi. It seriously is so awesome when we get to meet people from the chat. That is the main reason I am going to the RC uh, to meet you all. Uh, I won't have any IRL packs to give. Sorry, Dom. Um, <laughs> if, uh, yeah, okay, yeah. If you if you have a username, yeah, some people is... come up and they're like, hi, my name's Samuel. And I'm like, wow, it's nice to meet you. And then like 10 minutes later, they're like, oh yeah, here's my username. And it's like someone who chats every stream. like. You, you can tell us your username. We might recognize you. <laughs> I will sign Ulex. Yeah, I, I think you should definitely just tell us tell us your username if we don't yeah. know you by, by first name. And you can tell if we know you by first name because most of the people <laughs> that we know by first name, I call by the first name whenever they chat. So you probably yeah. know which one applies to you. For example... real life name is good too. You can use both. For example, um, Dom HRV, that could be anyone. Uh, so, it could be, yeah. could be anyone. Um also as you can see we have new system magic shirts they're black they're very comfortable they have our logo it's nice um i have a bunch on pre-order that i'm bringing i'll bring a couple extras to dc so if you want to buy one from me there i'll have some uh, and then i'll have more available for shipping and for vegas and such um, afterwards so if you're interested in shirts feel free to reach out uh, are the shirts machine washable yeah they definitely are um, I assume. I guess they're the same shirts as last time, and the last time shirts are machine washable, so yeah. Um, let's see. What else? Um, I don't know. I guess wish us luck. Good luck to you all if you're playing in the RC. We'll be rooting for you. Um, Wait, I want to state very clearly, you should, you can, yeah. you're allowed to only wish Greg luck, because I'm playing uh -huh. for nothing. <laughs> I'm literally playing to serve the love of the game I'm already queued for the PTQs for. So... All the luck can go to Greg. I don't need it. <laughs> nah, I wish Andrew luck too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are the shirts human washable? Sure. <laughs> Wishing Andrew bad luck. That's fine too. Um, <laughs> also, there. Yeah, I shouldn't say that. Unclear if it'll happen. Um, but yeah. Also, after the RC, uh, I'm sticking around DC for a few days because that's where my family lives. So I think Monday and Tuesday we're going to be taking off. Um, notably right after a big tournament is a good time to take off. So we'll be back Wednesday, a week from, uh, a week from today will be our next stream. Yeah. And, and so. you should expect that next week when we are streaming, it, it should be, it was going to be a lot of limited because Greg and I are both playing the Vegas GP thing and we're going to want to be prepared. So yep. it's going to be a heavy limited stream from that point forward. Um, also known as Dan's world's prep. So yeah, um, nice. there you go. <laughs> love that anyway if you're watching on youtube be sure to like the video subscribe to our channel let us know in the comments below what you're playing at the rc and what you're excited to see at the rc if you're not coming coming coverage to the rc's is back so you can go to us our city games twitch and uh watch the rc hopefully you'll get to see both andrew and i on stream if you only tuned in for rc prep consider following subscribing all that we have lots more exciting competitive magic content even once the rc is over anyway if you're watching on twitch we're going to send you over to connor man 11's stream friend of the stream who's playing some pioneer rakdos aggro some more great rc prep it looks like he's currently playing against phoenix so that's fun um andrew you got to send him off to the raid so uh, i'll let you close it out yeah uh system magic out